To Fallout. F Fallout Zero. That's the name of this game. Not like an official Fallout or anything. Just us sitting in a room pretending that we're playing Fallout with a bunch of rules that we made up. I changed my Twitter bio to Angry Little Boy prank Playing Pretend. Because that's that's what I am and that's what I'm doing. And I unmuted my microphone this time, so... Um, <laughs> and we're live for the first time! Yay! We're all here! Good job, everybody. We all made it. Congratulations. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on there? Oh, it's the ten candles. This, this, yeah, the ten right. candles. And also, uh, not the Fallout overlay. But that's Why fine. Is it? Okay, well... We'll, we'll be, be back more... in just... No, no, no. No, 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 no never no, mind. We'll just stay here. Live. Okay. Just do we'll do it live! We're, we're doing it live. I'm doing the intro stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Then <laughs> <Let's>... recap. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> so uh, we're a mess. We'll go fix the overlay. This is definitely not pre recording because this would have been edited out. Last we left off here in the game. You're good. I got it. Okay. I'm just making sure. I'm sorry. Last we left off, um, you guys had made your way uh, into uh, Vault 14 as hired by the OSI, a branch of the NCR. Um, it, it's a it's a scientific sort of uh, branch of the NCR, um, and they had pulled you all together make some caps as a task force to go into the vault and respond to a distress signal. You guys were sent in on a train with a private from, um, don't, are you laughing at private? He's dead. He is dead. <laughs> private Jenkins did Spoilers. die on the train that you guys were on as you guys Next crashed snapped. into a rock. Can't, can't fix that. <laughs> after moving through a dust storm. Um, you guys barely survived, um, nearly succumbing to radiation, which uh, Jacob didn't think would be uh, nearly as deadly as it was, but somebody <laughs> decided to have a two in their endurance. Uh, <laughs> or a survival game. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, it's okay, we're good, we're good, we're fine. Um, we're surviving, you guys, barely. Yeah, you guys made your way into the vault, you barely. talked to a computer, the computer so um, said, was just giving you messages back saying that they were someone by the name of Ernest Callahan um, mm -hmm. and that they were trapped in the vault and there are other people who are trapped and they needed you to reroute the power from the overseer's office into this door um, so that it could be open. <coughs> um, and you guys were like, eh, I don't know about that. Let's go explore around a little bit. And you explored the top level of the vault. You found um, uh, evidence of some person who is living here who uh, died a long time ago, um, seemingly of just pure starvation. Um, the door was not open. You have no idea what happened. Um, but you guys uh, made your way into the overseer's office where you found some um, uh, some, some ghouls who attacked you. Um, and you had found that the, the tunnel underneath uh, the overseer's office, like the, the chair was kind of raised a little bit. Uh, you guys just smashed that back down and um, looked over all the screens, took a, br took a breath, took a minute, healed up a little bit, leveled up, not once but twice. Thank you to Tyler for taking the here and now perk. So, um, <laughs> Much needed. Yeah, and uh, you guys are still in the overseer's office resting away your wounds. Um, and before we get started, I want to go ahead and ask everybody if we can uh, do a little bit of a, just a status checkup on, on everybody on where we're at. So Billy, okay. how much health, what's your health maximum and what's your health um, currently? 21, 21. Okay, so you, you, oh, that's right, you didn't take any damage. Nope. How many rads do you have? 200. 200 rads. Um, Dr. Alabaster? Uh, sorry, I was just... <laughs> no, 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 you're good. How much health do you currently have? Uh, I have 16 hit points. Out of? 20. Out of 20. So you're a little bit hurt. Mm -hmm. um, Paige? I'm oh, and how many rads do you have? Uh, 50 rads. 50. All right. I'm assuming our stamina points are not to full, though, right? Did Your you... stamina points should be at... Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get what, reset to they full wore because they did a short rest. Uh, they get right. reset to half. Um, they get reset to full if you guys had any food. Over the course of rest, um, you guys get it half back, but if you guys do, uh, if you if the three of you sleep, or if you guys take six hours, um, you'll get all your stamina points back. Mm -hmm. Did we take a full rest, or we just hang out here for an hour? I think we just decided an hour from now, but it mm -hmm. doesn't yeah. mean we couldn't mm -hmm. do so. So if you guys um, ate some food, you couldn't get back up to your stamina. You could say my stamina is 23. Okay, your stamina 23 out of 23? Yeah. All right. 
And your health is 12 out of 12? 21 out of 21. Cool. Um, and what's your stamina at? Full? I mean, I guess it would be full, and it's 19 out of 19. Cool. And Paige? Um, I'm confused with my hit points, because I have 10 out of 9 plus 1. I don't remember, because I mark things out to have know where things change. I don't know why I have a plus 1. But it's 10 out of 10, I guess. 10 out of 10. Um, stamina points is 13 out of 13. I currently have 125 rats. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Um, <laughs> Huck, you, you, Huck, you cannot take rats, so, I have no rats. Uh, but what is your stamina and health at? Dude. I'm waiting. Um, I have 9 out of 16 hit points, and I have 15 stamina points. All right. To damage from the train. Nice. Flipping. I have none of those things. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no. What, what is your, uh, your, your uh, I'm decay I'm threshold? I'm in the first level of decay. Okay, okay. But cool. my decay threshold is now 16. Nice. Versus oh, 7. Yeah, man, that's good. Yeah, um, so like effectively, you've got like sixteen, four, five, sixteen health health bars, mm -hmm. and you have almost effectively like forty to fifty ish health. So like yeah. two of you are pretty much in the same boat. The rest of you guys are a little bit lower. Paige, you are I'm having a rough good. time. No, yeah. no, 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 you're good. You're good. Um, but anyways, that's uh, I was just getting an idea of where you guys were currently at. You guys finish up your rest. Uh, did you take any uh, rat away? Was that something you were gonna do? Uh, I we, we did. We all did. We did the okay. Rest. And you still have two hundred and fifty? One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and twenty-five. I don't okay. think I took one. We gave you one. I don't think I took. Oh one. no! You said you were gonna save it because you were yes. like, because I'm only once I get more. I'm only yes. at two hundred rad. Yeah, you, it you, gets rid of two fifty, right? Yeah. So I should save it until I'm at two fifty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really shouldn't use that right away. Well, you're not looking too bad yet. <laughs> you shouldn't <laughs> use that. Right away, that red <laughs> away. You shouldn't, you shouldn't right away use that red away. <laughs> all right, so oh, what are, are you guys doing? Horrible. I said that all I could think of was Radicast for some reason. <laughs> well, but we each have one level of exhaustion and dehydration. I drink water. So oh, I, I drink water too. Yeah, you have the sink. Yeah, we have, have the sink. We have, we have the clean the water sink. sink. That's right, the clean water sink. Do you, you guys have, have a level of exhaustion? Yes. You said the right away gives you a level of exhaustion and... That's right, I don't have that. It gives you exhaustion too? Exhaustion yeah. Exhaustion and dehydration. Yeah. That's right, and I don't have that because I didn't I mean, that's why. Unless you don't like that idea. We don't yeah, we can get rid of that. I trust past Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> then why did you alter that? Huh? <laughs> because I decided to change the judgment of past Jacob. <laughs> Every time, uh, every time I laugh recently, this is completely off topic. Uh, yeah. Of All I can think of is that stupid TikTok audio, though, that... that <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you're talking I about. I don't know why, but it's just it's living rent free in my head right now. Yeah. No no video, mm -hmm. just that yeah. sound. It's not good. A level of exhaustion is just like D&D. &D. I think you guys just have disadvantage on mm -hmm. skill checks. <clears throat> so I but just, not attack uh, Remember when the camera's out of focus? Yeah. And we were like, I think why camera's out of focus? focus. Oh my gosh, is that uh, out of focus again? I think the camera's out of focus. People, yeah, are, out of focus. people are asking oh, about it. I'll actually. fix it right now. Oh. While well, you guys Whoa. decide what you're If you could do. just go check and see if it's out of focus. Yeah, <coughs> you see, maybe <coughs> it's maybe it's out of focus. I think Colton's right. I think it's out of focus. <laughs> it might just be it, a little bit out of it, focus. It, it, it might be smudged. Hey, just so you guys know, when we started earlier, I noticed the 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 screen. There's the camera's out of focus. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> we all leveled down one. Oh, <laughs> right. I've taken away the here and now perk. <laughs> Rocks fall, we all die. Uh, we all level up five times. So oh, we're in, so we're in there. What was hey Jacob? I know Four. you're currently Four checking times. the focus of the camera. But I can what answer was, a question. What was in the room that we're currently That's in? That's the overseer's office. So there's like terminals, Stuff. computers, yeah. um, screens, so, a uh, big desk. I don't know much about all of this computer shit. I do. I, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I can talk to Is him. Is there a way to open the talk the door? Yeah, I can talk to him. Let me talk to him. Give me a second. I'd like to talk to the computer. You'd like to talk to the computer? Yes. Okay. Oh. And if um, I can't, maybe Paige could talk to the computer a little bit better than well, me. Well, I won't be talking to her. I'd just be breaking Sounds into good. it. Um, one more thing I want to bring up. I know I'm interrupting this right here, but um, you uh, negative to being a Gen 2 sim. Huh. Um, you cannot gain your stamina points back from eating food. No, I cannot. But I don't have a stomach. Yes. So I know. Just how do, make how sure. Do you get them back. Out of uh, I didn't take. Just I didn't take any rest. hit points or any stamina points because I was just hurt by the train, not by a, a ghoul or anything. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, uh, you want to go talk to the computer? I'd like to use my new perk. Yes. Okay. What is your new perk? I took a computer cousin. Mm -hmm. um, and this says that I can hack into any computer with a DC of 10 <laughs> or lower. Um, 
It's like I know I can talk to him. He's my friend. Okay, so you um, you go into the computer mm -hmm. and you um, you that. start uh, writing away on the inside of it and talking at as thank you as <laughs> <laughs> sorry as um, you. Uh, uh, it's very strange. Uh, Paige, you kind of go over and you look, and Huck isn't even, like, hacking the computer. Huck is just going into the BIOS and typing things. And, like, occasionally Huck is like, one 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 zero one 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 zero one 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 one, and you're like, what? What is he doing? <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, literally, like, coding it to talk to the computer. Mm -hmm. um, and the computer uh, is basically a function that um, diverts power, and it was programmed to do so. And when you hack into this computer, go ahead and make a science check. Just oh. real quick. Oh. This is where we fail, day. friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 16. As you continue to talk to the computer and you find out it's, it's, you know, it's diagnostics, what it can do, you find out that it um, is programmed to only have certain parts of power go to certain parts of the vault. Um, if one portion of power is going to one side of the vault, that the other portion shut down. Um, huh. If there are other areas of the vault, it also shuts down. All of it comes from a reactor down in the basement. Um, and it, it's weird. As you talk to it, the compu you're like, so can you just power the whole vault? And the computer's like, oh, yeah, I have the ability to do that, but I'm not supposed to. And you tell it, well, just do it. Yeah. Do you tell it to? Yeah. It goes, oh, okay, I guess I'll listen to you. Huh. And um, you get off the computer, and you just hear like a as all the power is redirected to the entirety of the vault. Yeah, he said he will turn the power on. Looks like he did it. Give him a little pat. Oh, and then you also ha it also has one more function. You can oh. open the stairway underneath you. There's a small stairway that goes downwards. Do we want to see if this door opened before I open the door underneath? Oh, hello, cat. Sorry, isn't the door underneath where... <coughs> it is where the ghouls came from, yeah. Sorry to interrupt this real quick. Quick question for you, sir. How do we get rid of exhaustion? Is it only through sleep? Um, there are certain drugs and um, food and drinks that can get rid of exhaustion. I know for a fact coffee can do it. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. yeah, sleeping will get rid of it. Okay. Should, uh, Just FYI, I couldn't find it anywhere in here. Maybe um, in the wrong place. Those feral beasts? The ones probably not. The mindless, the mindless one. I may not have been looking close enough. We don't have to figure it out right now. Probably not. Sorry. Point of reference, I think my we'll threshold is actually 14, not 16. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, think I, I think my math is, is incorrect. That, is that why you were, why you were, uh, well, like, I also, the authenticity <laughs> of well, your I, I erased it, light. so I was looking for my indentation of what parts I had <laughs> oh, to make sure I copied it properly. You're trying to find the code that's to the good. Declaration yeah, of the Independence. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make sure that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to steal that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, you uh, say. Were you saying something, Dr. No, Alabaster? No, we, we, no, we, we, we were conversing about, about, so you, about... You sent a whole power of the vault. Yeah, we were conversing about whether or not we okay. want to open that extra little thing because that's where the ghouls came from. Did you shut the door behind you? No. Which one? The one, um, the door behind you. That wasn't, like, possible, right? Because it only had a mechanism on the outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. I wouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> you were keeping guard last yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what am I going to do? Spinning in the chair. Um, so I, I, I would imagine it would be important to see about that guy that we were chatting with. The <laughs> the oh. Behind you, in the nearby room, you do hear a door open. Sounds like he's coming out. Can, I, like can I go to here? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to make sure you that... You just hear a... Hello? Like, Hello? Hang on. You, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll go over it with, oh. with Waddle. Tectron. Tectron. Ah, and then he kind of steps back a bit. Does uh, this you person see, look diseased? Uh, no, mm -hmm. he looks like a middle-aged man. Um, he's got uh, he's got dark skin. He's got kind of like gray, sort of like fluffy kind of beard. Um, maybe about mid forties. Um, he's kind of balding on the top of his head. He has a vault suit. Um, it's a blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. And he kind of comes up and he and he looks pretty bedraggled. Like he doesn't look like he's like like he looks like he hasn't taken a shower in a long time Maybe. and he kind of comes out Trash. and he eyeballs all of you and as soon as you start coming around the corner Billy he kind of ducks down a bit and he says I'm unarmed yeah you had a ghoul problem what and it's taken care of now are you the one I'm that a... was on the computer I'm yes a yes bit heads up he probably doesn't know what a ghoul is and if he does he probably doesn't know that's what it's called are you are yeah. you here to hurt us 
No. Nope. Just here to help. So. We were sent to help. Jacob, can I investigate the guy? Like, walk over there and kind of do a little medical check on him? <laughs> like, walk over and he just says, wait, 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 before you, like, go over towards him. Oh, and he's he says, a doctor. And he's kind of at the bottom of the stairway and he says, I, I don't know who you are and to be fair and honest, your messages were very threatening. Your Roll right? speech. Speech is you mean, persuasion? Roll persuasion. persuasion. <laughs> I, I went through multiple iterations. I roll a one. You don't speak. You become mute. We have pers we have persuasion, wait, deception, intimidation. Wait, no, no, no. Doesn't he need to make a bar to persuasion, deception, intimidation? Does so there's he, four. There's doesn't he need to make a? Per don't you need to set a percentage to meet based off of his speech skill, and then he has to roll? Shut up. Just roll. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I want to change bomber guys' oh. follow three video. So. Ah, it's a good oh. start. Oh Strong no! Starts. But you got a cap. He's bad. Uh, I do. Oh. You could use it early. Uh, I could. Bad boy. And this, I won't. Let's go with <laughs> persuasion boy. of two. Okay, so he looks up at you, and looking at your um, blood-stained um, armaments and a strange <laughs> medical equipment that he doesn't really know with weird uh, <laughs> like stim packs sticking out of you, he says, I'll take my chances, please. I need to know who you are first. Why did you turn off the computer? Which one? We, I, I had to in order to investigate what the internal operations of the computer were. Before we, we didn't exactly want to get shot up by some security. So system. why are you here? Are you responding to the dress, distress signal? Yes. 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 We have Did nothing you? of value. You, there's nothing for here to rob. We're just people. We're just not trying here to, live. to rob you. We're not here to rob you. We were here to let you let you out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. If you send out a distress signal, do you not expect people to show up to help you in distress? We grew up our entire lives thinking that everything beyond that vault door was a monstrous and would kill us. Uh, you, it's not, partly true, you, I mean. Not terribly wrong. Not yeah. the people, but everything else. We know now that <laughs> the overseer and the people in charge here lied to us. We've picked up on other radio signals from... Um, the, the NCR? The, the NCR, they yes. They sent us. They sent you to help? Yeah. And he kind of relaxes a second. He says, "Sorry. We we were told our entire lives that beyond outside it was it was too harmful for us to live. There were only monsters." I mean, that's a little bit true, but not entirely. I mean, there's people who live out there. All right. Okay. And then he kind of realizes, and he steps up, and he kind of walks up the stairs, and he looks at all of it, and he says. The rest of the fault, they're trapped down there. They have no way out. We need to get them out. I at least need to go down to them. My wife is down there. Would we routing the Along with my folks. That? You don't have a, an entrance down there? Where you're uh, from? No. no, there was, but it was locked off. Well, I just rerouted the powder. Power. You did? Yeah. To everywhere. You rerouted all of the power? Yeah. Well, it's everywhere now. Like... The then we could go down. Yeah. We could find them. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Is he not, like, put off at all that I'm a robot person? Um, no. Honestly, this guy... Roll... I don't have insight. Roll perception. Perception's not a skill. Yeah, that's not a skill. No, just your perception. Oh. It's, it's a, not a skill. Special. <laughs> 17. Oh, you would have had disadvantage on that. I just, I just realized that too. Um, it's okay. <laughs> That's like, still two. Roll two anyways. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marshall already has internal. <laughs> <laughs> his rolls. What'd so. you get? What did I say? Seventeen. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. This guy looks like he was expecting you all to be death claws. Oh. So the fact that you're people and a little bit of a metal person isn't that weird to him. <laughs> Disconcerned, but still. It's dis yeah. Show. He's like, he like does a double take and then. Just forgets about it and <laughs> is is more preoccupied with other things. Do you have anything down there that could help us? Um, could or help you harm us or harm us? No, 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 just people. Just people All right, well, let's here. go then. Wait, wait. What, what, what do you mean with a a ghoul problem? Yeah, I what is a ghoul? Realize you might not know what that is. Can I sure uh, grab it? You, just grab a body. So all, all you bring all, it in, and it's like. like so, do you remember how you said everything out there tries to kill you? That's radiation. Radiation poisoning. Your people yeah. should leave this place, too. We've been yeah. getting some... Yeah. Sickness. Yeah. Radiation poisoning. Yeah, and, and here's uh, not really safe. 
I think the uh, integrity of your building has been compromised. We need to get everybody out. And I think yeah. so. Yeah. You're in for a shocker of a world, but let me tell you, I'd really like to just get out of here and get back so we can talk about all that. Do you have, like, um, food? Yeah. Water? Might want to collect that. It's kind yeah. of feel. It's a little walk. Down there. Grow them. Oh, potatoes. Work. How long have you been separated Eight. from the people? Six months. Oh. Have you been able to contact them at all? No. Hmm. I tried to... I was able to hack the door on the way out. I learned how to do it as a kid. Sometimes they would lock us in our rooms when we were um, misbehaving. Hmm. I've always known how to open the doors. And After uh, the overseer passed away, we decided not to elect a new one to maybe find a way out. I was able to hack the door, but when I made my way in, it closed behind me. And I was trapped in that hallway in a break room. There was only a couple of months of food in there. I was able to ration it. But there was a radio on the inside. I sent out the distress signal because I couldn't get that any point of that door, that door open. We'll see what happens since we've, since you've... Those things came from outside? No, I came from underneath the... You know, I'm kind of getting worried. Maybe we should check yeah, out that room in the overseer's office. That's I impossible. Mean, they couldn't have come from it. It seems like somebody else is... Underneath the overseer's chair. ...toying with this place. Oh, then the... There's like a panel lifted up. What does that go to? It goes deeper into the vault. Well, that's no good. Because what if we go in there and someone locks all these doors behind us as we go in? No, I think the concern is more... I don't think the concern is the people. I don't think the concern is that he might be the only one left. Well, uh, that's not a concern, though. I mean... That's impossible. If he's all these stories so far... How quick does that stuff happen? The chemical uh, like, doesn't take too long. He said he needs excessive amounts of radiation. There's a lot of radiation in the area. We did run I'm into a little bit it, of it so many I, I, I can feel myself sick around here. That's why I'm having to bottle his gas mask. Yeah, I want that back. You will get it back once we get but out. But I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. You were in a different room. Well, it wasn't much deeper in. Can I check um, you? Do you mind? Okay. I'd like to check him to see if I can see any... Whoa, medicine. Anything with... Whoa. Hello. You guys want to play D&D, huh? Aha! <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Crit fail. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Marshall. Um, the only That's thing the that is outwardly obvious, and anybody, this isn't because you failed or anything, this is just everybody can notice, he's very clearly malnourished. But that's it. Anything, you can't tell if he's irradiated, you can't tell okay. if, um, like, he, he, you don't find any cuts or bruises on him. Um, so, I mean, he's okay. I, I think standing here just discussing this is not going to help us. We yeah, we should, should either go back to where you are or under... Yeah, and the longer, we, the longer we stay here, the more likely we are to be irradiated. That's At least strange. that's humans. Radiation that far down? Isn't that what these were built for? To keep it out? Well, it's possible there's been some kind of breach or a collapse deeper in. Oh, there is maybe that up. hole over there. Maybe water mm -hmm. could have been irradiated, dripped down, they could have drank there's it. There's a lot of ways. Ugh. There's a lot of ways you can get irradiated. All right, but, but, which way? A or B? I don't think he should come with us. No, I think he should stay here. I, I, d I don't know if you're safe either. No. Back I in I his agree. room? Uh, maybe if he's... So. Okay, if he's safe, if he has survived the fission core. core. Hmm? There's a nuclear fission core deep in the vault. Mm -hmm. It powers the whole vault. Hmm. It's possible. Well, should we go take everything out? I mean... Yeah. Uh, if that's compromised, that means... Go now, please. Right. I would suggest you going back into that room and closing the door. Well, I've um, been notoriously unlucky. I don't want to be trapped in there again. I'd rather be on this side. You're Are you prepared to fight? At least I have access to the power in the overseer's room. The and to the vault door if I need to escape. The ghouls could climb. I don't want back in that hallway. Right. Um, well, we covered it. <clears throat> Do you have anything to protect you from radiation? No. 
Then you then should I, go back into your room. Then I highly suggest you go back. I'm not going back in there. And do what you want. Either you. Could, yeah, let him do what he wants. I mean, if he doesn't want to. All right, it'll, I mean, it'll, it'll be. Our job was to open the door and get them out. After that, so uh, that's that's where our job stops. Well, I'll just let you know. If you start to feel sick, you should go back to your room. If not, you're gonna die. Yeah. Roll persuasion. <laughs> the, the bulls today have not been kind to us. Look, well, we are not the most charismatic Six. of parts. No, I am <laughs> actually. Hard. I'm quite charismatic as a as a robot cowboy. Not when I roll a four. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Six. Um. Yeah, he looks at you and he says, "He says I'll take my chances." Suit yourself. All right, let's get under that chair. You gonna fit? Why not? Are so. we taking the chair? I thought we were taking the stairs. We definitely know that ghouls are coming from the chair. Yeah. Wait, before you go down, um, and he kind of looks around, and he says, uh, one, one second. And he kind of turns, he goes down the stairs, he goes through the door, he goes into a room, he rummages around, and he runs back, and he goes up the stairs, and he has, uh, a, like, a weird, like, um, metallic device, um, like uh, uh, put together with uh, with duct tape and like a blinking light and like a weird like antenna and he says, "Take this. It's a radio. Um, so long as you keep it on uh, channel three o one, I can contact you." Can I talk to you? Uh, yes. Go. Cool. Not bad. Pretty. Yeah, I was gonna say pretty impressive what you were able to create there. So I'm confused. Where are we going? Are we going down the... Well, the ghouls came from underneath the overseer's chair. I don't exactly want to go down there. That's All where right. we're going anyway. We might as well if just we go finish that way, this area. Either way, it, it seems to be going down to, to deeper parts of the vault. There the likelihood it... Door the, where you came the from? the ghouls are coming from somewhere, that means that they have a Yeah, source. there's a deeper way in that way. I was, Could which, you show us? Which, um... Yes. All right. Um, he kind of looks down, and then he looks back at the ghoul, and he looks back over, he says, down that way. And he just points down that hallway. All right. Okay. I'm going to go Head that way. Here. Where, where are we going? You guys, they, we have two options. One is going under the chair, and one is going down the hallway where the guy had come from. One has ghouls in the other way. He does not want to go down from where the, where the ghoul is. More A ghoul couple of us down. think that we're... It might be a better bet to go down the ghoul hall. The I, don't, pathway in the uh, I don't think I can If I'm of any help, they both go the same way. That's what my assumption is, but one's come. One I happens. also don't believe I can go underneath that chair in that same way. So okay. I will be going this way. Going this that way will lead you to the us. atrium where everybody sleeps and eats, and then eventually it'll lead you over into the, uh, the reactor room, which leads to the overseer's office. Okay. Either way, so we're going we'll the same the way. find people first this way. If yeah. there's still people. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do this then. Yep. Beep, 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 beep. Slide all of us over there. Yeah, of course. I assume we're all going. In any yeah, way. I'm going. Like that? No, I'm going to leave. Perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't leave. And then he stops and he says, "Oh, wait." The, what? Uh, and he and he Don't turns worry. down and he looks down at himself and he says, "Before you go, wait, wait, wait." Um, and as he he like goes down the stairs and he turns to his wrist and he has this small portable Ooh. computer on his wrist and he like oh. tsh, 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 and he clicks it. And he, and you hear like, um, there are a few rats up here. Not a lot though. Um, and he kind of goes down he, and he unclips it and he says, it may be better in your hands right now. I know now. how those work. I'm from a vault too. You are? Which one? 23. I hope that's not an actual vault. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want me to give you a vault? Sure, give me the golf vault. The, the golf, golf vault? The golf yeah. vault. What Bring, state are you from? Uh, Bring probably a, California. California? Bring up Billy led us the, the Fallout vault, right? the Fallout wiki, which has a list of all the vaults. Yes, so give which him one the word. Did you say 23? One. I said 23, but I don't know what that is. Uh, 23. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can be vault 23. Oh. All right. 23. You're 23. Cool. The golf vault. The golf vault. All right. Um, 
Uh, he gives you uh, the Pip Boy, and uh, you kind of latch it on. You look over it, um, and it has a built-in Geiger counter on the side of it. It also it's able to you can take notes in it. Um, you also kind of scroll through um, some portions of it, and you do find what looks like um, a map, and then a, like a local sort of like like actual map um, uh, 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 that's like surrounded around you. And as you kind of look at it, you notice that there's like <laughs> there's literally like a GPS tracking on it, and you can like tell where you are. Hmm. Sweet. This thing's gonna be very useful. But as you like, you get down further into the vault. It like it like wigs out and like disappears. Huh? Does the Geiger <laughs> counter still work? Uh, the Geiger counter does still work. Okay. That's this is going to be very useful. Immediately <laughs> stop. <laughs> um, well. your current rads in this area right now are one an hour. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. Almost. Almost. Next Basically no. Yeah. But if you mean if you lived here for a long time, you'd probably get cancer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's life. Um, <laughs> that's life. Paige takes off the um, gas mask and just, until we, I need it again. You put on the gas mask, um, and as you guys make your way in and you open this door, I don't have this part of the map, but it does kind of lead to one of the parts. Um, it opens up to this very large um, atrium. Um, there are two levels here, and uh, the first level kind of uh, uh, oversees the top level. You can see, like, doors, and then uh, down on the lower level, you can see, like, tables, and then more doors down on the bottom. Um, you do see sort of, like, a small map kind of to your right, and you notice that if you, like, if you like, there's, like, stairs that go down. These are, like, rooms and living quarters. Um, there's a door in the back that'll lead to another stairway down that'll lead towards the reactor. Um, as you guys enter into this area, though, you just see cold steel walls, and you hear nothing. Is there any signs of people being here recently? You look down at the tables. Yeah, there. I mean, there's there's like plates and and. Um, Is the food rotted at all or? Uh, no, it actually looks pretty clean. Huh? No dust gathering or. You take your hand off of the 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 um the rail. Yeah, there's dust. Hmm. Either they don't dust, or they're all dead. Probably the well, either or. Yeah. Not gonna find out unless we open the door, right? Right. There's a door, right? Uh, yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of doors, but there's like a door on the bottom level that leads down to the reactor. Because we're not on the map currently. We went no, no, this yeah, way. No. Um, no, no, you basically, yeah, oh yes, you went this way, and then it kind of goes around. So, so we, we, we don't, we don't move anything. Don't move anything. We've yet. gone this direction. Yes. Instead. yes, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. And we're now in a larger room. Mm -hmm. And on some um, kind of like elevated catwalk that has a stairway mm -hmm. down to the actual level we're looking at right now. Yes. Okay, I, I will go down there. And the okay. center is kind of like a cafeteria esque. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's like yes. Um, um, the start of Fall of seventy six. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And the, the far back, there's like another way down, mm -hmm. dictated by a map that says it's the reactor. Mm -hmm. okay. Can I go to those doors on the side and like mm -hmm. knock on them? Dun, dun, dun. They actually have windows. You can actually oh, look, in. look in. Them. You kind of look in. Some of them are like closed. They have like blinds closed Before on them. He does that, One of them open. Which way does the door open? Like a like Up. a bed, a um, couple oh, of dressers. It's like a really uh, bright colored carpet um, and empty. Can I see if there's any of it's been like used at all, or is it all like? Yeah, like the bed is messy. The bed isn't made. Is there a latch to open the door? Yeah, you you can just push a button. It opens. Look around the room. You, you look find. around the room. It's dusty. Like looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Mm -hmm. But it looks like unkempt. Like it, it wasn't cleaned. Yeah, that's not <coughs> a good sign. It's like something I mean, you, find, alive. you find like a couple vault suits, and you find like some shoes, and um, the fact that there's no one. There is an awful smell also coming down from below as you kind of begin to move your way down around the vault. Billy, you're from a vault, right? Yeah. On average, if you know, how many people live in a vault at once? I know. It, how many would have been? Originally, they're probably yours, stuffed. Probably but there with the camera. Um, yeah, the camera is turned off. Um, I would say you um, your vault probably had about. I'll get 200. Mine had about 200 people in it, but. Um, but already, as you go into this vault, um, it's already different than yours. Like yeah. yours isn't; it doesn't have. They, they weren't. They weren't really mass produced. Well, they were mass produced, as far as I understand. But they were all different. They were all unique. 
I'm gonna look through some of the drawers in the rooms. Hmm? I'm looking through some of the drawers of like I'm seeing those dressers and stuff. Yep, you okay. find some vault suits and some more vault suits and some shoes and um roll luck. It's just, it's just a good day for rolling, you know? I tell you, buddy. I got a three, sir. Oh, three? Mm -hmm. um, you open the bottom drawer and there's nothing. Um, can Huck go into each of the rooms and start counting beds? Yeah. Um, you count that this atrium alone could sleep about 50 people. Okay. Looks like it might be a little smaller. As you kind of go down and explore, you find like a kitchen. And you go to the kitchen, all the food is, is rotted. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't think they're living. No. Neither do so I, either. but the uh, potential of... You do also find, of, like, a couple um, in the kitchen. You find, like, a couple of, like, dirt plots, and you find, like, where, like, um, like potatoes are being grown, but they're, they're like, they're, like, dead. That goes to those farms, too. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I look through them. Is there any like seeds of the rotted fruit, food, uh, tomatoes, and things like that? Roll, um, roll survival. <laughs> What's up? Roll, roll luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> roll luck. Roll survival. survival. Yeah. Dang it. Disadvantage. Yeah. That's what's getting you. It is. Yeah. Um, ten. That's fine. You <laughs> know that uh, that uh, potatoes can just. Are you just oh, there's, there's potatoes. It's potatoes. Oh, you I thought you said tomatoes. No, no, no. You go through the potatoes and oh, you look down. Yeah, you, yeah, you could potatoes. just take the. You could just take whatever. You, yeah. You know, you just take that and plant how it many, if you want. How many are there? You find three. I'll take three potatoes. And they're pretty rotted, but you know, if you just stick them in the ground, yeah, they'll probably just grow. keep growing. Any weight on this? Boiling. Um. Mash them. Stick them in the stew. Boiling them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Potatoes. Um. <laughs> every, every potato would be one load. It's a heavy potato. Well, it is also a whole ass potato. Load isn't necessarily weight, right? No, it's yeah. not weight. It's also, it's also how space. Cumbersome it is can to you, carry. It's weight and volume. Can you define junk metal for me? What, what does that actually look like? What junk metal, like random pieces of scrap torn off from other things. Um, so, like, could I like? I can't produce it. Like, I can't walk in this room and go, "Well, the fridge is busted." Can I just? No, no. You could totally just scrap the fridge if you want. How long would that take? Um, a couple minutes. You could just go in, take everything take out, find screws. some pieces, take the screws out, take a sheet of metal, okay. and just like I take it if you want. I like to do that. Yeah. Could I also do that to the oven? Yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll give you that. um I'll give you like, roll. Can you roll repair? Uh, yeah, I can. Or crafting. Sorry. Yeah, I can. I'm thinking in Fallout, not this game Fallout. That would be twenty one. Holy shit! You so get eighteen plus four three. junk junk. Oh, junk I'm sorry. Metal, scrap metal. Just twenty. Just twenty. Oh, only three. I'm just kidding. <laughs> four. Go ahead and get four. Um, Sarah Bella has gone in and just like is <laughs> like tearing apart the oven, tearing apart the fridge, taking like pieces of scrap metal and kind of like compartmentalizing it and putting it in a bag. Is there any way you, you said that the water could be bad? It's possible. Is there you can get a radiation way to, in a bunch of different There's like a sink in here. Any way that one of you could like <laughs> test it? Clean water. Oh. Oh. I was gonna put the Geiger counter. Oh, the wall in the lava counter works. <laughs> it always explodes. <laughs> it's possible in a lot of different ways. If there is some kind of engine in here that is nuclear powered, it also could be doing it. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think, Billy? You think that water is safe to drink? I'm not gonna drink it. We have the water up above. And my canteen's already. Yeah. Would full. the water not come from the same place? The water from up above? Possible. Depends on the pipes as well, if they're contaminated themselves. Right. Oh, I, I see what you're asking me now. No, I was referring to the water here, I would assume, is pulled up from the ground. Mm -hmm. But because of some of the things we've seen, water could be above it that could have spilled into it. Oh. Because, I mean, because some of it collapsed into itself. You still got that right away. I mean, you could be okay. You know, you want to be like a hero. I'm just saying. I would test it if I I'd could. I'd rather survive. I'd like to say that. That's why the doctor's gonna keep you alive. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> well, I do believe we've come to the conclusion that, that they're all dead. Or ghouls. Yes. Or ghouls. Hopefully, the uh, few that we killed were the only survivors, and that the other uh, 50, 42 the are deceased. 
very you just go in and you find like I some like, rotted like, bread. We and, should like, find where they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Look it up. Stuff on them. Like those neat little. Exactly. If someone dies of radiation poisoning in Fallout, what is the percentage of them turning to ghoul to just being dead? They can, th- both can happen, and nobody really knows what that percentage is. Cool. So now here's a question. But likely. It's... Like, like for yeah. instance, hear me for a second, because I never put it in the games. If someone were to die of radiation poisoning, would their family then go burn it? Because it mm. is substantial enough to where they know tradition is they cannot yeah, have a body because the ghoul would you're, happen. You're right. That, would act, that, uh, that is a smart thing that a, probably a lot of people are not doing. Because oh. they don't think about that fact. We should hand out so, the pamphlets. Then the world is telling me no, so the odds are high, but I would understand them as not that high. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. no one is functionally doing these things. It's, well, it's more that people don't just live in radiation. People just leave. But also, radiation in the Fallout universe is very, very strange, mm. and will either turn people into ghouls, Cat. outright kill them, give them Cat cancer, sci-fi. or just give them magic powers. And it's like, okay. <laughs> um, so I, I do have a question. Uh... If I if I know this, what what does the whole like ghoul to feral ghoul thing like? Is that something that happens Nobody over knows. time? Is it that, like again, just literally yeah. a random chance? It's, it's a you... random chance. Okay. Some people can be a, a non-feral ghoul forever. Some slowly deteriorate into becoming feral and ghouls, some and some are just really really quickly are just feral ghouls. For the system. most part, a body that is left in a radiated area can typically become a feral ghoul, but not always. Mm, I see. I also think there's probably I think there's more feral ghouls than non. That's mainly from my own mm-hmm. understanding. Okay. Right. Um, cool. What was no our objective again? Uh, to well, rescue let's get everyone. Rescue out. these people. Well, but we got one. Um, I believe also for the OSI they wanted data from this place. Okay. Oh, we got. I'm not taking notes. You? Well, I don't know about notes or rather information from somewhere. Okay. Well. You keep looking. They never really specified what they wanted. Okay. So. Why don't I go first? You can follow after. The rads get too bad. Me and Huck can continue in and at least report back. Interesting question. Um, you said that there's a smell coming from somewhere. As a synth, can I smell? That's what I was going to ask. <laughs> yes. I assume they I couldn't. Can smell? You can smell. You, I'm going to say you can. I'm going to say yeah. you can recognize what it, when it's smelling. I see. You, so, 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 so I can't go, ah, uh, <laughs> cooked cookies or pie. <laughs> yeah. I just know <laughs> that that would signal to my yeah. olfactory responses as delicious. <laughs> I, 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 I imagine you have a little signal that goes off in the corner of your screen, like your view that says yeah. clean, clean, clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, you can, you can know when there's a smell. Okay, I see. cool. Mm. It's like... Weird smell. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not a viable yeah. smell. Mm-hmm. Smell detected. <laughs> smell detected. Towards the, s- it's the bad. smell. Then. I think that was the food. Oh, the food was yeah. what stinks? It's the food that was stinky. Oh, I yeah. thought there was a better, a stinky worse food. smell. Yeah. The, there was just like some like food laid out, like some cooked food, and it, yeah. it's like super rotted and moldy and really yeah. good. <laughs> is oh, you know what? It's Actually, like if you guys do, do, do you, any of you go through, you went through like the fridge and stuff, yeah, right? Sure. Okay, well, the fridge, everything in the fridge Don't is gone. But um, there are like cupboards and whatnot. If you guys want to look through really and try to find some food, it's the right, stupidest cool. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Whoever, so anybody looking everything. through the cupboards, roll luck. I'll look through a cupboard. I'll do that. Through in one of the rooms. Hey! hey. Oh. Uh, just sure. regular roll, not disadvantage. I know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Because it's a ability. An ability. Not a skill. Yes. Um, what'd you get? 18? 18. 18? Hey, 12. Yeah. 12. 14. 14? I figured I was busy. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, everybody roll a d4. Give me your screws. Give me your screws. <laughs> All right, Take Billy, that. what'd you get? Uh, two. All right, you find, um, <laughs> you find, uh, two glasses of Nuka Cola. Oh, two nice. bottles of Nuka Cola. Um, and you also find some Blamco mac and cheese. <gasps> and this stuff Blanco. is special because it's been around for forever and will continue to be around forever. It's not perishable <laughs> mac and cheese. It doesn't taste very good, but it's food. Dude, um, what are you talking about? It's mac and cheese. What'd you get, um, Marshall? Two. Mm. Two? How uh, you find, um, some coffee grounds. Yes! Oh, and get rid of you your find attention. some, uh... I just had a funny thought. Hmm. Paige could probably just die from drinking too much Nuka Cola. Yeah. Because Nuka Cola, the fun little taste that they add in is, is radiation. Radi- radio, uh, radio isotopes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Three oh. Jacob, coffee grounds. 
Is this like it's equivalent Each, to you, making you one cup? Coffee, yeah. Like one cup of coffee? Um, yeah, one cup of coffee. I like that. It's like I a like little that, packet. I like that <laughs> cherry. I like that cherry <laughs> Nuka Cola. You know what? More. It's super special instant coffee, the, and it's got house. three in there. Ooh. So you make three cups. I like it, buddy. Thank the you. Um, coffee. what'd you get, Paige? I got three. Three. You find some cram. How much cram? Mm. Uh, to one cram. You find some Insta Mash. Mm. That's where it's at, though. Instant mashed potatoes. Mm. So good. Next one. The red and ones. you find mm-hmm. some uh, absinthe. <laughs> All <right>. What? <laughs> nice. How much Yo, do the coffee grounds weigh? What about a meal? Um, mac and equivalent to what's in the mash, here? Ten would be no. Um, for those instant kind of things I'm giving you, ten would be one load. Okay, so just no load, it, right no now. load right okay, now. Okay. Can I check to see if the stove turns on? <laughs> the projectron is ripping it oh, apart. It tears oh, the pipe oh, down. Oh, oh, you go over the stove and you you go over to it and you it does turn on. Is there any pots around? Yeah, you find a pot. Grow a pot. Pour your water in there. Put some water in it. You gonna make some coffee. Make some coffee. You make some coffee. All right. <laughs> you're like, please, and you make some coffee, and you're like, is there a mug? Oh, and you find a mug, and it has uh, it pot. has the vault boy on it, and he's just like, and he's like, Monday is right, and you're like, you're like, you evil little like, boy, <laughs> and you, you pour some coffee, and you drink, and you're like, oh, and this you're. This is such a bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, that you. That cups are collectible, though. If you find forty of those, you get that achievement. <laughs> you get. <laughs> you gain temporary stamina points equal mm-hmm. to your level. Each of them have a different. And um, you yeah. can remove your level of exhaustion um, for, for six, six hours. hours. But then it after back. six hours, it comes back. Jacob, are there like, Jesus like Christ. collectible bobbleheads that you can find in the game that'll like increase your? <laughs> no, no, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, this should be because then we can like get XP or something. Right, maybe, gonna, I'll, maybe I'll add that in. I'm gonna keep the comments on them. <laughs> Those are super fun to find. You're like oh, luck. Up here? I'll just collect Give me that yeah. luck. <laughs> Give me an 11 luck. Yeah. I like the magazines in 4. You open them and you just get a random new ability. Yeah. You're like, okay, cool. <laughs> um, Jack the Barbarian. Right, yeah, you found some absinthe. Uh, what'd you roll on your d I rolled a 1. A 1? You find a Nuka Cola cherry. You want this cherry liquid? <laughs> Call it a cherry liquid. I can't can't squint, so I'm just like. I'm gonna be all. The, all <laughs> just get closer. Literally, bonk. Uh, don't have a face, yeah. but you look. <laughs> <laughs> the all whole right. body's one unit. Now the master's kind of searching the place while just slow, slowly like sipping his coffee. He's just kind of walking yeah. around. You feel better. You feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. This, is good. this is good. What does oh, it taste like? You know, uh, it tastes like a, a lovely morning. Um, with like uh, not a harsh awakening, but like a good awakening. Like you wake up like strong, you know. Uh, I don't sleep. You know, okay, so that would be tough to explain. Um, it, I imagine it tastes like when your batteries are fully charged. I don't have batteries. Okay, well, <laughs> you know, uh, or like when your you belly, it, no. Okay, that's not going to work either. Um, it's not like you have a heart. What is it? I mean, I don't. I've never ripped open my chest to look inside. Do you have a tongue? Yeah, to you, talk. You have like no taste buds built well, on I, there. Wait, I can't drink things. No. Oh, that's a pity. Could you? Do eat? I have a tongue? Yeah, you can taste things, but I mean, it's it. I mean, you, I can taste things. You can. Yeah, you can. T- you can. I just have to spit I, them unless back you out. don't want to be tasting things. I assumed I couldn't, so I'm gonna say no. Okay, then yeah, no. Hmm. Mm. Well. Yeah, that would. So, does your tongue taste things no. at all? Okay, no. so I've never that's tried. That's gonna be really hard to explain taste to somebody who doesn't taste. Try your best. Well, okay. Um, have you ever? Do you know the feeling of being punched in the face? Yes. Okay, it's kind of like that on your teeth, but like it feels good. <laughs> the coffee, or like in your, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> but it's in your morning time, so you're like A oh, punch in the yeah, face you know. in the morning that feels good. Yes, you know, um, and it wakes you up. So, you know, it's it's nice. It's nice. I guess this is kind of hard. You can't say, I don't wake him up now. Yeah, I can't tell, I can't <laughs> tell him that it's bitter. Know that. <laughs> you know, um, just face is good. <laughs> oh, it also depends hear on a the, thud. You hear a, kind of, oh, on a door. Uh, uh, golf club. <laughs> pull your golf club. Tire iron. 
Put you guys all order yourselves. Back in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> you finish the coffee. Yeah, finish coffee. You, you put the coffee cup with the coffee in it in no, your bag. He just holds onto the mug <laughs> and then pulls his shotgun out. <laughs> uh, you guys wait and wait. Nothing happens. You just heard one thud. And then you hear a... Where'd it come from? Wait, 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 wait. And you hear like a hello? Hello? Is this, oh. is this working? I thought it was a grunt. Hello. And uh, he says, "Is um, is, how, how is everything oh, down there? Mm. You find anybody? Not yet. Okay. How are you feeling? Really nervous. <laughs> I really wish you would maybe. We're hurrying up. People. We're going. Okay. As fast as we can. All right. We should probably get over that door. Yeah. Yeah. Get to, we're getting to a door right now. Uh, we I'll call you back. He's like, this doesn't turn off. Just don't turn the uh, back, the button back on. We're uh, we're on a, we're trying to be a little quiet down here. Oh, I'll be quiet then. Yeah, thank you. Is there a volume knob? Yeah, there's a volume knob, and there's like you have to push it. Yeah, it's like I figure. Yeah. So. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Okay. But still, if it you try to talk to us, it'll go off. Um, I guess we're gonna go up to that that door. I am not going first. Well, why? I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll go. So ha, it's you. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're not going first? Ha, ha, ha. You open the door. Uh, I'll sure. be behind you. Yeah, sure. You open the door and you see like a dark Perfect. hallway, um, and there's like lights That's in it that are like flickering, no? and then it kind of like turns off towards uh, your right. As soon as you open the door, you hear tick 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 coming oh, from your pit boy. Oh, how bad! Is I thought it was a bomb. It so is. I was like, um, as of right where you are right now, it, it, it's gone up from one to five an hour. Uh, still not bad. It's uh, not great. But I mean, we didn't walk in yet. <laughs> I would. I know I just gave it to you, but I would not ask for the gas mask back. <laughs> Go first. Because <laughs> if it's already at five, I'm going to probably start feeling bad. I'm not really good with radiation. What, 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 what do we see down this hall? Is it just another <laughs> hallway? It's a hallway and it turns to the right. Turn to the right. And there's okay. like a flickering okay. light. There's no other Once we get turn. back. Okay. They're like doors I'm going to ask the OSI no. to no. give me just one. Just a hallway? It turns it, I mean, it's like 15 one. feet and then it turns oh, to Does it turn some like hard 90 degree mm-hmm. or is it kind of... Yep, it's Slow. like it's hard yeah, hard ninety degree. Find a bandit. You don't shoot him in the head. You can just take it yeah. in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, effectively, we're, whenever I find one, however, I is, oh. is that entry? Oh, oh I see. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You um, go down the hallway, oh, so sorry. now you've Hang turned on. and you're in it now, and you go over you and like um. Uh, let's sure. put. Yes. Huck. Do we want to do Huck third? No, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Okay. I'll take the the rear. So like this. We'll kind of, Just in case we'll we get stuck room. up, you guys yeah, enter yeah, this room right here. You can go ahead and um uh uh you hang on um just pull it back a little bit. Oh. Eh, that was too far, but that's fine. Um just take it off now. You know, yeah, you're good. We saw. Um, I didn't see. You guys enter a small really room. Really this well. small room. Yeah. As you get in, it goes from five to ten to fifteen to up to thirty an Uh-oh. hour. Um and it's it's climbing and climbing and climbing as you get in here. I think I might want that okay. mass mass back. You're not taking on any immediately, but you may soon. Maybe um, you could stay. Game wise, and me and Hug and Scout now. That's true. Uh, oh, wait. <clears throat> we can always just we bring have... stuff back to you. Wait, wait, Jacob. How long w- were those uh, the rad X's? How long do those last? That's a good question. Did I don't write that in. How long those last? An hour, right? Uh, let me double check. Was it an hour? It rad X hour. last an hour. So we are not under the effect of Radix no, right now. No, 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 no. This stuff wore off a while ago. What's your current, what's your resist? Naturally or with the gas Naturally. Mask? Naturally, 10. Jesus, dude. Okay. <laughs> um, as you guys make your way in, um, uh, uh, the rads begin to climb. You guys look around this room. There look to be a lot of, like, beds and sleeping mats in here, all covering the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, it looks like, like... Maybe like a like a safe spot of some kind. There's like em- empty food everywhere. Open um, water cans are all over the place and they're just scattered. But in the back of the room, you can see that there is like a crack in the steel wall and it's been opened and pried through into another room in which you can hear. Oh. And then, as all of that happens at the same time, you hear coming from your from your radio. 
turn the volume knob down. Whish, whish, turn it all the way down. I don't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> we should go back. We should go back. Yeah. Well, we either got to push forward or go back. I guess they are probably all dead. We could make noise and force them to come to us in a room that's not That's so a better radiated. idea. I like that. You can turn the volume knob back up. It might it's a good idea. Yeah, so it might I also have these and I'll kind of jingle my backpack. Out of this, uh, mm-hmm. room. Okay, you step out of the room. Yeah, 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 you step out. It then I, goes I, down to about I'll, five. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll follow. <laughs> okay. Um, it might make sense to funnel them down the hallway. Then we ha- it would just become a shooting gallery for us. I'll look at you and go, that or, I'll, or pull out a Molotov. What about, what about, and then? Yes. Okay. Huh. All I right. Like um, we get two ready, and we run down that hallway, you can throw another one inside here. Could I... Like, mm-hmm. Make like a, like you know what? Find some Maybe like throw items here. around here I don't to make like a shipwreck trap with one of the Molotovs. We know there's nothing here. Roll crafting. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. You do your thing. I'm gonna go out there too. Okay, you do so. I have a in my nice. hand, ready to. It's strength based. Well, anyways, um, uh, that's on. a one plus Close. seven. Okay, it's an eight. Eight. Um. <laughs> I'm tired, so I'm not. Yeah, you're like anything. you're like looking around. And you're like you can't find anything. You're like looking around. You, you don't really find much. The best you come up with is like I, you could take some of these um, these bed sheets and you could like you could tie it to the ceiling and then maybe you could shoot it to have it fall. But that's like the best you could come up with. Okay. You don't find any like you know. It'd be better just to have them, just to throw them at them at that point. Fine. I um, like the idea though. Hmm? Keep keep that line of thought up. I don't wanna don't wanna dismiss that. It's just the, <laughs> the rolls today have been poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And disadvantage does not help. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Hold on. Maybe. We're gonna die. Just checking bad the stat rolls. real fast, and then I'm good to go if you want to turn that thing up. I'm just trying to check out my mm-hmm. yeah. Molotov that counts as a explosive. That's not pretty good actually. Mm-hmm. He's looking at angry chicken. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Chicken's Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you want to start a Um, sure. So it's here for break. Um, sorry. Is Molotovs are explosives, correct? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. should be. Use explosive skill. That's what I needed. I just can't seem to find it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It is an explosive. Okay. Whenever you are ready. Can you back me up a little bit? Oh, of course. Oh yeah, we can both back if you want. Yeah. That'd be uh, good. You want to get like I, here? Yeah. I suggest it might be the best bet to set up back over here. You draw them over to this, and then we just have a nice straight can shot. Can we instead do the atrium? I know well, it's all. I know it's all. Actually, here. Whatever the long hallway is, where you. Oh, the atrium's here. Technically, uh, yeah. Technically, yeah. It's like oh. this, and then this is one big, huge atrium, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there's it's, the hallway. It would place. effectively that the next a- atrium over would be as big as that entire mat. I see the entire mat. So, so like, it's I'm the transition. I'm kind of just thing. pointing to like what the end of the hallway before the atrium. So yeah, I'm down for that. I'm just the hall. entire hallway's width. Yeah. So I'll be taking gunfire. Also, I. So if I could, I would prefer. Don't just to, shoot things. I know it's not on the map. The door, you know, the door that goes to the entrance, that would effectively yeah. be the door to the atrium. So you guys do have that hallway there if you need it. Okay. No, I kind of want to see if we can bait them into that atrium. Okay. Yeah. But that's not on the well, map, I so I don't, can't really use that. I can draw up an atrium. If yes, you please. Want. Yeah, if we could, that'd be great. Because yeah, I can't get much. anywhere that's not going to be directly in, in fire. So okay. if we could bait them into that room, so I could at least take a side step from the door, then we still get the bottleneck, and so then I, I can not surround the door, right? Yeah. I think we want to surround the door. I think. It would make sense for you to to not be in the hallway right away. And what you do is once they get close to us, you step in the way. And then you start tanking when they get to us. That way we have shots, free shots that we can funnel them, and we don't have to deal with a whole bunch of them at the same time. Because they will be piled up on top of each other. We can't get through all at once. Uh, okay. My job is to serve. And protect you, <laughs> I guess. If, if you're if, if you're okay with that idea, 
I have to, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to limit the amount of things we have to be finding out. The same if that time. works, we can stay here in the atrium for a while and we can mm -hmm. pair you back up, my friend. I think that sounds perfect, then. I want to do that. It looks like you were taking a bunch of the scraps from the kitchen, so... I think so. <laughs> we, we could do that we're before gonna, the hand, that would be even We're going to have to play it smart, depending upon how many Are you currently many damaged? There are. I am. Ooh. But if we could get one more, I could actually tank a little better, if possible. Like another hour? Yeah, that would be an hour. Yeah? Do you want to, want to wait an hour? Okay. So long as we're not sitting in radiation. Would it be faster right? if we helped? Uh... Will be faster if they help. Help you help you repair, repair yourself. Yeah. Uh, does it take you an hour? It takes, to... an, takes an hour to repair me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it, but it assumes me is doing it or someone else. Uh, I mean, yeah. If somebody else helps and rolls a crafting roll, they could help you. I'm gonna say only one other person could do it though. So we, I can't I can all just fucking so, pit so, stop. So, <laughs> quick, so what does like that mean? Does that mean like an hour to thirty minutes? Yeah, to thirty minutes. Yeah, if yeah. you want to do that, be wonderful. I could help. Okay, let's do that then. I'm, um, that's kind of my stick is crafting, so... Oh, you know what? I said that. Solar power doesn't work if I'm not outside. That doesn't help. <laughs> Nothing will change. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm outside. So we do not... We go stand in the sun, you know? Oh, and I, could, <laughs> I could. I could go outside. Well, a, there might be a storm stop. Yeah, so yeah. I guess we'll just do the atrium thing. Okay. Instead. All right, let's do it. All right. You guys back up and Get into the ready. atrium. Get your shotgun ready. And uh, prepare to fight. So... I don't want to do this. <laughs> I think. I could. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, I'm going to erase all of this over here, and then, uh, well, not all of it, um, a portion of it. We'll use that for the atrium, because we don't need the rest of it, because you guys have already gone through it. Okay. And uh, we'll do that. So, we're not going to take a break, but we're going to come back in like five minutes. So, um, so this isn't break, but this, this isn't break. is a short. A short, quick thing. We'll be back in a few minutes. Bit. I will run the break card, though. So, we'll be back in just a minute, guys. Yeah. See you in a bit.
Welcome back. Um, we've got the map ready to go, and everybody is ready to get going. So, you guys kind of step back into the atrium here and are now standing in the atrium. What do you do next? Okay. I'm going to turn the radio all the way up. Mm-hmm. You hear... And you hear a voice occasionally come through like... Hey, bud. Uh, I can't hear you. What What was that set to? I don't know. Didn't he say he gave a... He gave a... a you look at it. It's set at 301. That's what he said to keep it at, right? Yeah. Well, it stayed there, yeah. I'm going to take the pit uh, boy. And you hear like a... Can see. I set the pit boy to 301? Yeah, and you hear... It's not any clearer I'm this. assuming the radiation is blocking the, the signal. Mm-hmm. Probably. I just wanted to make sure that that didn't break or something. Right, I don't think it's gonna Babe. affect him. That might be how that works. Turn it back on. That's annoying. You want to just throw pots and pans down the hallway? It's doing that in the atrium too. Mm-hmm. It wasn't doing that in the yeah, atrium. Like second. That. Okay. It wasn't. Um, I'm gonna go retrieve a pot. Hopefully he didn't go outside. Okay. And I'm gonna, oh. with all my might, I guess I'll, I'll, you know how there's like that large pot and then the pan goes oh, well. inside it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do both of those and I'm gonna throw it on the hallway. So hopefully both will go and then they'll topple out of each other. Okay. As you do so. You hear, as you do that, a singular uh, word come through on your pit boy. You hear, task. What the heck? Task? Yeah. Yeah. Task. 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 And you hear, copy. Is that his voice? No. No, it's Maybe it's my team. It's the NCR. I think they're, I'm telling you guys, I think there's other people... Further down? Further down, who are monitoring this vault. I think they're just... Stuck? Maybe. Well, there's ghouls in the way. Uh, Gotta figure it out. Hey, if this is the NCR, we can't understand you. So, uh... And if you're further in the vault, we're coming for you. Hold on a second. What if we went back up? It's possible they... We just learned it from possible ghouls. Did you throw the pots yet? It, well, it, unless unless they were like the middle song, no. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I would have. Yeah. Like, I did, but I didn't want to like interrupt whatever was happening. Oh, then. Um, well, if because I said it and then you moved on, so on I, I would hold on to it if so. Because if this was happening, I would have like not have just okay, okay. made then, an executive then, decision right, for us. So what if the NCR is just above? We can let them handle the goals. Can you check the Geiger counter? I don't think the NCR is above. Five an hour. Five. Low here. Let's try and get even further away from the rods and see if we can. I'll put the pants find, on the table. Find, find a better signal for that thing. I can walk back up there. Okay. Sure. You, I mean, you walk around. It doesn't help. No, I signal. walk back up. Oh, you go up the thing over to the hallway. You go back out there and sitting kind of on the floor. You see Ernest looking up at you. He says, "Oh, you're back." Have you been trying to talk to me? No. Okay. Have you heard anything on your radio? He pulls it out. He turns it up. Task. When uh, you were contacting the NCR, did you ever get anything back? He oh. Click, click, and it task. And he says, "We're using a different signal. It's coming through on this one. Turn yours off." Turn it off. And he flips it, and you hear like, and it like changes, and then it eventually stops, and you can hear a voice come through, and it says, "Task Force Zero, do you copy? This is the OSI, Doctor Cromwell. Please respond." Task Force Zero, do you is that copy? Us? And he says, "What, what, what, what is that?" Uh, it, uh, that's not a game. Is that w- who we were? No. Can I roll anything to maybe know who task? Oh, sorry, yeah, no, Dr. Cromwell, you know who that is. Who is that? He's the guy that contacted you. And brought you oh, okay, guy. that's what I was asking. Yeah. Um, can I see that? He hands it to you. Uh, yeah, this is a Huck. What do you need? And, you, and, it, and, it, and it kind of like stops. I need here. Huck, this is Dr. Cromwell. Mm-hmm. We've recently discovered that there could be an isotope down in the vault. A very radioactive, powerful isotope. If you retrieve the isotope and bring it back to the OSI and the NCR, the reward will be doubled. Oh, I forgot my MP. You should be careful, though. It's very dangerous. 
I don't know where I'm gonna find like a lead lined shoebox or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we're thinking that it. Uh, can those things break? Cause we got a lot of ghouls down here. Copy. Are all the residents ghouls? Uh, we've got one survivor so far. We've seen six ghouls. Copy. Keep the survivor there. Retrieve the isotope. Copy. I won't be able to respond. Talk to you later. <laughs> be here. Wait. <laughs> well, what do you want? Be here. It's... Keep the isotope on the protectron. It'll be very radioactive. Is that going to hurt my human companions? As long as they don't hold on to it. Copy. Can I leave now? <laughs> You're free to go. <laughs> See you later, boss man. Oh, go back downstairs. Oh, you stay here. What's going on? Oh, like my boss just said, uh, I, I think that that radioactive isotope thingy is uh, busted. Isotope? I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You should stay up here, though, because downstairs is pretty irradiated. Not going to lie. anybody yet? Nope. Found a lot of rotted food though, and uh, pretty dusty, pretty dirty. Not gonna lie. Um, but okay. hold on to hope. Always. Heard that once. Don't really know what it means. I'm gonna go back downstairs. <laughs> All right, so you go downstairs. I go downstairs. Do, 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 do you go down the stairs? You go back to the party. Everybody's just waiting. You're still holding the pan. <laughs> We're ready to throw. Ah, uh, so that guy that we. We're contacted by mm -hmm. each of us. Um, he um, was coming through on the uh, the radio. He wants us to take the isotope thingy, the radioactive thingy. And mm -hmm. says that would be the reactor then. You should hold on to it because it'll kill them, and yeah. um, you're stronger than I am. Okay. Well, were they all was was doing that? Channel? How that's your if it's time he would go through rooms and he's looking for like a cigar box or roll um perception do you know what channel they were on no the guy upstairs figured it out not me <laughs> come <Wow>. on <laughs> two a snake three boot. nobody in this I'm vault a smoked snake in my boot. Just, yeah, a snake nobody in this vault smoked gosh dang it i'm gonna go back up there like you go back up the okay hey ah. What uh, what channel were those guys on? Three hundred five point four. Go down. All right, you go back down. Can now remind me, because I don't know the pimp boy. I don't know the pimp boy too well. From can I can, can I speak to them or is it only a receiver? Uh, the pimp boy unfortunately is only a receiver. Right. And that's good to still have at least. Uh, Three hundred five point four. That's what they're on. If they say anything, we can hear it through this. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, what I did burp. I burped. Oh, <laughs> oh, I was, I was like, like, what? <laughs> what happened? Just, you get some air in your gears sometimes yeah. down yeah. there? Yeah. Um, All right. All right. I think we're about ready to You ready to throw your pots and pans? Noise. Yeah. And I take Always. the golf club. You stand I'll there? Pull my gun out. Hold it like this. <laughs> I swing it. Yeah. <laughs> Pull. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Pull out my gun. You guys wait for a few seconds. And you wait. And you wait. And then a hand oh. comes out on the other yeah. side. And you see a yellow eyed, bald creature with melting skin turn around the other side and. Hey there, asshole. Everybody roll combat sequence. Combat sequence. <laughs> Those were so confused. I don't use yep. dice all that much. I was like, how? Just what are these? Yeah, how do I do any of this? <laughs> Roll? What? Huh? Combat sequence is just perception. Right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Combat sequence is perception. Do you remember perception when these dice nah. were crap last time? Yeah. Both first rolls were 18s. Nice. They learned. So, I'm still rolling they're below nice. 10. They're trying, so. they're trying to yep. prove themselves. <laughs> uh, I got lucky with an 18 and an 11 so far, but oh. the rest of it's all been below 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah your rolls have been... Not going to matter because I have Characteristically both. bad. It's Marshall. That's Marshall rolls. Yeah, not, not uncharacteristically, <laughs> yeah, yeah. characteristically bad. <laughs> I'm going back to my first star playing on our arcade and rolling poorly again. Yeah, keep doing and that. No. 
Yeah, you're a DM in one of the games. Keep doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going to do the thing up here. I don't have them already. I'm just going to write them down over on my side. Wow, the best part of being a DM is you always just kind of go, they're terrible. <laughs> but not. <laughs> exactly. Does a uh, 30 hit? <laughs> of course a 30 hit. All right, take, uh, 20 to... Uh, 25, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Everyone yes. put their own on I did. We're good then. Billy, Page, yeah. and... Gotcha, gotcha. Being a Protectron, because you're on like a wheel or something? Uh, no, it's because I, I chose Bruiser, so I'm slower, but I hit harder. Can you turn the music down nice. like a point? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It, they, protectrons have legs. They just are kind of... Just, it's like yeah. stumbly almost. <laughs> well, I mean, since they don't have knees, so yeah, it's, just, it, it's just the one leg it, kind of pivoting. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on, on Man, they have knees, they're just real small. Yeah, they, well, they didn't have to, they just oh. had like, off, they just, got, like I, top of I, their foot here. I think, and they, I think they move like I'm this actually 16, much. I apologize. It's not a 16? Lot. I didn't even add my perception, which I do have a plus two. But I have a minus four, so I just did just a plus two. That actually is going to be helpful for you. It's like two, a Barbie so doll. A yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. It's like the Barbie dolls that have kneecaps Oops. for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Here, you can see how much they actually Ew. move in this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just measured what you said. Not a lot. Yeah, that's why. Is, is that real? Oh. Yeah. Why? They shouldn't. They should. They just move be... more with their hips. What's that? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's all the hip movement. <laughs> okay. We good? It's still around at least. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna move over to combat. Boo! Yeah, guys. I know that the right, stream cool. is a little low res right now, but it should it should fix itself. Sorry, at guys. least it's not stopped. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys, give me one second. Oh, hello, I didn't even see you get up here, buddy. Wouldn't be an arcane arcade stream without something. I mean, it was fine. Huh? Except for that, but that's been an issue. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you want to play, Fox? little face comes up. You want to be a ghoul? Are you the yeah, we, need to get, we need to get oh, on the character <laughs> sheet. Yeah. Got a hair right there. He's like, don't I'm going to use all these really it's cool like scarecrows that you have for Strahd. Because they look accurate and also they're all the same. And also, I assume that means the Fallout minions haven't come in yet. Oh, no, no, they no. still haven't come in yet, but I did get an update. The they scary. are they are shipping. Whoa! So yeah. Um, wow. Oh, guess it's a like good that? thing I brought. Um, you want them all put them all you? one space. No, no, no. Put that one, one at the corner, back? and then put them all one space apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then one one. He's kind of in two spaces, yeah, but that's fine. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess I can put my fucking actual hexes. I can't do that. Looks like they're all doing a little dance. Like, yeah. Uh, 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 Flash mob. Can you imagine they all dance? Um, I'm all like, right. Yeah, I'm out of here. They just you guys can have it. It's like this. Yeah, you guys can have it. I don't want it. What did you say? It's your turn, Hook. Oh, I'll shoot him. All right, go for it. <laughs> bang, um, bang, bang, bang. Shoot him right in, shoot him right in his dome. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, Dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20 is going to hit. Oh, that's... Four action points. And so I will also be writing down if you guys recycle any. So if you forget, I'll, I'll remind you. Oh, oh cool. how sweet. That's awful sweet of you. Sorry, that was a weird, weird roll. Um, oh, I um, that's a five damage. Range. Five damage? Nice. Yeah. Uh, to that one right there? Yeah, to the guy at the front. All right. And then um, I'm going to do it again. Do it again. I liked it so much, I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> pretty cool. With a 21 to hit. 21 hits? Um. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. S Sorry. That would have actually been a 16 and a 17 to hit. Okay. 16, I, was looking, I was looking at my tire iron. Mm -hmm. um, and then it would have been... That was three. That would have been six damage on the first shot. And then... Hey, Jacob. Yeah. I don't know if you realize Seven, this or not. Eight. Every time you send a message, I know. we get a... Ooh. I know. Okay. I can, I can hear it. Jacob? Yeah. I was looking at the wrong thing. So mm -hmm. that would have been six to the first shot, on the first shot, damage. And then um, eight for the second. Uh, eight for the... S eight damage to the second? Yeah. Whew. Okay, so... And I would have had to move... Uh, 
right there, sorry. But that is that is four and nine action points, so you, I have one, so I don't recycle any. What did you use? My sh sh uh, shotgun. Your shotgun? So you just go down the hallway, bam, bam, and blast twice. Uh, you hit the ghoul, it, uh, it flies back, it flies back again. You've done damage to its hit points, it's bloodied, um, but it is not dead. Ooh. Okay. Um, um, and you had to reload? Uh, I'm checking that really okay, quick, actually. No I might not be able to do that. I think I should be able to do that. Sarah Bella, you're on deck. Okay. When I, use, guess right when, when I use my lasers yes. and it uses the cell, is it like a? It's like I, I have multiple of them. It flings the cell out and it auto reloads, or do I have to reload my arm? You have to take it out and put it back in. Okay, so that would yes. be the, the but that that would be the reload action, right? Mm -hmm. So the six. Okay. Then I'll be using one laser, <laughs> and probably never again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll open with laser. I'll, I'll reload. And outside then I'll punch the, the hell out of this dude in the mouth. <laughs> I'll reload outside the combat. Mm -hmm. Where is reload? Do we get one on each hand. Fine. Reload. It's it's the it's the mag You can like you can it's like the, Iron Man like. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of gun is it? Oh, it's okay. It's the round thing that it says. Five? Yes. Yeah, five. Okay, I'm good then. Uh, no, I'll ha yeah, I'll actually get out of your way. Uh, right. Oh no, I fell over. Ah. I'm <laughs> dead. Fallen. Oh no. Turn Help! I fall. Turn you can't get up. Around no, there. No. Okay, that's ten points <laughs> overall. All right, cool, cool, so. Cool. Uh, that was ten points. Are you? Uh, do you have any left? No, that's okay, all. Okay, right. uh, Sarah Bell, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to... Well, I really like the Molotovs, but I feel like that'd be a bad time if I dropped it right now. Just in case of that one. So I'm going to laser this guy in the face. <laughs> right into the wall? <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. We all on fire. <laughs> yes. uh, so I will just laser the guy in the face. There. You can also just take you the aim for the face? do it. What is it? So oh, minus six. They're rolling fine. It's us yeah. that you should be rolling know. humans that are falling no, apart. No, okay. oh, no, no. I'm just going to... You shoot him. All right, go for it. Well, we'll you can get, you can't shoot for limbs. I mean, you don't want to like do that. what you did in the, the... The legs are the easiest. Um, The test games that we did? We just let it blow up. <laughs> so I, I totally would, but I can totally catch fire. Oh. So <laughs> that's why fire is really great. I didn't I, I did think about dynamite. Yeah. That's way though. But it's a little different now. <laughs> catch on fire. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> this, the, 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 this whole, the whole leg thing... The minus six. The arms are minus four. The um, legs are minus three. I so, think. so, so describe it. Might it. Be, it if might I roll two, three. and then I do I roll the d four, and then that's what happens, or do you roll that? Uh, you roll the d four. Oh. Um, if you crit, though, you get the you get the special one. Sure. You know what? Let, let, for yeah, yeah. Sorry. Head is six. Arms minus four. Legs minus for, three. For um, just trying new things. I'll yeah. try for the legs. I'll take a minus three. All right, go for but it. But I have a plus four in energy weapon, so I'll just have a plus one instead. Sounds good. Go for it. Uh, oh, that's crap. That's a six. A six. That, in fact, misses, unfortunately. Yes. You pshoo, shoot for the legs and it just goes right between his legs and hits the ground. Okay. Uh, Shame. I have five points, though. Ding, ding. Shame. Like, one from recycling. <laughs> or one from reloading. Um, Ow. I guess I'll recycle them. I'll okay. Probably my turn. That was weird. You have to wait. How many, how many can you shoot before you reload? Well, one. It uses one, I think, each time. What? No way. Does it use multiple? That, that should that not be that. <laughs> It says uh, uses one per attack. Uh, ammo per fusion cell uses one per attack. What the? Why did I write that? Hang on, let me find it real quick. Um, it's in the. Uh, it's, it's in the race. Uh, yeah, use your energy skills to hit perceptive bonus to damage range thirty feet, damage two d six crit chance. Uh, uses fusion cell uses one per attack. <laughs> <laughs> why? Um, That's right. I will recycle five points because that'll be the first time I ever do that. <gasps> So mm -hmm. we'll do some. Well, now I'm just gonna retroactively change that now because that is that should not be one per attack. That's insane. Okay. Um, I'm think I'm just gonna make it a laser pistol. Um, All the people know. Uh, which is what I'm pretty sure I just did anyways. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It should be like thirty. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> should you use a, a thirty? Fusion, a fusion, an energy every cell every or cell or should do thirty. Oh, I see. You know, no, oh, so you should have to. No, you should be able to shoot thirty four. times before you. Oh, you I have thirty six cells on me. You're no. yeah. <laughs> I bought too many bullets. I bought too many bullets. I'm going to have more money. This is why I'm in debt. How many did you buy? 36 cells. Did you do 2d6 damage? You bought 36 cells. Does it do 2d6? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we'll do laser rifle, because that's more what it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know, because I bought all those cells. Yeah, you still have a lot of cells. You still have a lot of cells. Yeah, you still have a lot of cells. You went from having 30 shots to, like, millions of cells. Yeah, you still have a lot of cells. 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 You still have a lot of
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I, I'm still I'm still recycle the five, which will give me two extra points. Two on your next turn. I love that. Right I love two. that. All right. Yes. Okay. He was six hundred. Right. He's like. <laughs> Oh, you have 720 I'm so sorry. rounds. I didn't write that in. You have 720 <laughs> rounds. Dude, you just, you just unload. It's <laughs> 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 okay, buddy. You're okay. Fine. Uh, that's You're it for just me. Laughing. All right. Uh, that ghoul right there is going to turn. It, uh, the other one? This one? Um, yep. It's going to run down the hallway. It's going to use seven to get in melee with Paige. Okay, hang on. Uh, one, oh. two. So, how does this work? Three, four? Uh, on its, no, no, no. On its buddy space would be three. Three, four. Four, five, five six, six, seven. Oh, it'll just attack yeah. Just Billy outside then. of my range. It'll just attack um, uh, Billy. You use seven? No relation to... Oh, no, that's enough. Right. It'll go one more. I saw oh, it. no. It's been away for a while, I think. And it will... It can only do one attack, though. I'm glad I moved. The lives on. Oh, boy. Hoopsed. You um, Who's he attacking? I think it will slam. So it literally, it's it, 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 this one gets like shot with with a with a shotgun and nearly with a, with a laser. And another one skirts around the corner, looks down the hallway, only sees Paige, and just <laughs> runs directly at you. He jumps and flings through the air and takes its arm and just like clotheslines you um, with. A the ghoul with the clothesline. Natural <laughs> one. Natural. It just flies chair. through the air and you just kind of duck of and then it kind of falls on the ground and rolls. Um, and it'll actually use the rest of its AP to, to get move that like way. Um, so it'll go uh, five, six, seven. It'll be right here. One more. Uh, That's what? it. Yeah. Whoa. It's there now and it kind of scrambles back up. Like, <laughs> well, this isn't this. Finally didn't do shit. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Billy, Page, and Alabaster. All right, can we just surround this guy? <laughs> uh, I'm going to shotgun this guy right now. Right, right, cool. I'm going to go up to him and swing at him. Right, you <laughs> swing your shotgun. With your <laughs> I'll let you guys do your thing, and then I'll do mine afterwards. I'll go up and swing at him. Just four AP to move I, there. You should let me shoot him first. Yeah, yeah. Go, go for it. I mean, like, before, before you move. You move. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't shoot you. <laughs> you know, that's a good idea. You're like, I'll, I'll get him, and you shoot Billy in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got him, boom. Well, don't the, don't oh, the no, shotguns Billy. also have, like, spray? If they do, but you can, you can make it so Or spread, yeah. 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 They do have spread. Okay, wow, not a bad roll. roll, not a bad roll. <laughs> uh, hey. It's just plus guns, right? Yeah, yeah. guns. All right, 13. That hits, roll damage. Uh, hoping so. Now, now put me over there. <laughs> now, yeah, now I'll run over there. As <laughs> <laughs> you're running over, he's like, mmm, I'll back. All right, and then I'm going to swing out <laughs> the golf course. Go ahead and swing. Uh, 19. Hmm? Hit. Cool. Ooh, not great. Seven damage to him? Seven, nice. And then I use an action to reload. Cool. Eight damage. Um, eight damage? Yeah. Um, so you get to his hit points. He's pretty hurt, um, but he's not uh, dead. Um, pretty pretty bad. As you fire into him, boom, you hit him with a golf club. Um, uh, he kind of stumbles back, but he's still alive. <clears throat> okay, I guess it's my turn now then. Um, yes, yeah. now it's yours. I guess I'll just whip around and just... He like pop jumped him. over you and you're like... Bang. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, I, I'm just gonna use my gauze pistols. I, I, I was planning on using it anyway, so I was. I, I'm just gonna. Okay. She, she sucks. Out. Expensive rounds, though. You're using your energy. Yeah. Um, that is a, Imagine if you're a like nine. A nine. <laughs> I know. I rolled a two. You're <laughs> you fire and cap. You fire and cap. cap. Do you want him? Sure. I forgot about that. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, yeah, in, in case. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, no, dude. There uh, you go. How about 26 instead? You <laughs> literally need a three to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I have a plus seven to this thing. Um, okay. Uh, what's my thing for this one? It's. Ooh. Um. Uh, how about a nice uh, twenty damage? Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> Melted. You you just turn and you aim, and um, as uh, you hit it in the head, Billy, with the with the um, with the golf club, it like puts its head upwards, and that you like take the shot and poof, fire, and it poof, blows its head off. And it's nice. Yeah, that one's gone. Deceased. Um, yeah, the humans are doing a pretty good job over here. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> that ghoul right there is going to run, um, and it's going to 
Uh, it's going to attack Alabaster. It's going to get. It can, it's going to go one, two, three, five. Five. So you used five. Um, so set five. Um, that means he can do. Uh, he's going to do two bites. He's going to bite you twice. <laughs> Just trying to snap at you. This one's really bitey for now some you're reason. A uh, now you're a werewolf. Natural one, so a big miss. Nice. Um, <laughs> but a 11. Uh, oh. Sorry, a 21 to hit you. Oh, I'm with that. Sorry. So close to missing. It was a uh, no, 21 totally hit you. Alright, uh, so that's going to be... I'm very handsome. Four, um, four piercing damage. No, okay, cool. Um... Number four is going to go five. And again, the damage threshold like only comes into hit points. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yes. Do the damage, damage threshold does not affect stamina. That's going to be... Yeah, gonna five, ten. Why am I saying five? Do you want me to five? move it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to get there. And it's going to use the remaining three that it has to slam you, um, uh, Cerebella. Cerebella. Okay. Uh, I have rolled three ones with this dice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Keep it going, wow. buddy. Keep it uh, going. So it does uh, make you. Jacob, just so you know, I think yeah. I, uh, I reset one. Okay. Point. How much did you, you didn't move, right? I you did just not attacked? move. I just, I just attacked, which is six action points. To fire, and I have nine. You have nine, so yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, that one's done. And that guy, this guy right here, he's gonna go one, two, three. He's just gonna go there. He's gonna wait. He's gonna recycle. He'll get fifteen on his next turn. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> um, Huck, your turn. Um, all right. Is there a disadvantage? I. Uh, close range? melee? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> With a shotgun? I didn't think about this. <laughs> I'll look it up. Alright. It's good. Look it up? <laughs> Jacob, my own who, rules. Jacob, who wrote this? I didn't think of that. Let me see if I wrote Ka it down. Kosh somewhere. Jacob yeah. probably did. <laughs> Yeah, well, I agree. Like, I like agree. Point, it's no, a point you can, just, you can just shoot it close yeah. range because they're shotguns. Yeah, why, yeah, you probably shouldn't get a disadvantage. To it. But then again, we have the advantage of spread. That's true. Yeah. I was just, and I think but I don't, you also I don't get the disadvantage it. of they. Short, they're decay very short range. Really well, and they decay really quickly. <laughs> they also decay really. Also, someone said last game that you could just swat the thing out of there. Yeah, like they're that true. close, you just hit the. That's oh, true. The shotgun away. We literally did a whole video. Not that you couldn't also get shotgun shelled, but. <laughs> I thought that was a really clever idea of handling that. Yeah, like, oh, just, that makes sense. If you're within you five feet, you can just go. You just smack it. Yeah. It's not you jumping out of the way. You're just literally Well, because you, you have the, the shotgun mm -hmm. and you're like trying to get a shot while they're trying to get it out of your hands. Mm -hmm. It's like... <laughs> In that video, <laughs> when... When you went to that gym, he's like, oh, like, why, why do they have this? Why do you have, what do I have disadvantage doing? I just whack his hand. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Maybe, that, maybe, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it wasn't even actually. Just fucking me. Maybe it was for that video. I don't know. <laughs> it was just. I also like how we were like, we're going to explain what dashing and attacking looks like. We both ran at the same time, and while I'm running, I'm like, this isn't how dashing works in D and D. We can't go at the same time. Just watch the movie Equilibrium. It'll explain it all. <sighs> I gotta think. Sorry. Yeah, do a big think. This, I don't this mind. It's dumb that I didn't have this. Nah, no, you're good. It's, oh, hello. Smoke. I have gained another Jacob's like, chat. this will set a precedent. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Especially since half this group uses shotguns. Shotguns. Oh, yeah. You're fine. I You're fine. Lever action. I don't use shotguns. I'm, I'm ever going to use. It's just below half. Okay, so here's the, the thing. I, I don't know. I, so I'm making a mistake by saying this. Um, there are no opportunity attacks, and the main reason that you do have disadvantage in D&D 5th edition is, sure, maybe it's realistic that when you're within 5 feet you can easily dodge, but it's also because then it forces you to use different weapons that aren't just ranged in the middle. But we don't have opportunity attacks, um, so it's almost pointless just to give you disadvantage, just so that you have to spend AP to move away um, in order to get that bonus there. Um, I think in the original game you didn't, 
So I'm going to tentatively, for now, say no, you don't have disadvantage. I may change it in the future when I inevitably, inevitably uh, find out the real reason why <laughs> Wizards of the Coast made that a rule. So yeah. uh, let's run with no, you don't right. have disadvantage I for will do shotgun two. specifically. Do for any uh, gun. Any two ranged weapon in it within f mm. within five feet is okay. not disadvantage. Okay. Sweet. Um. Good. Two. Oh. And we might change that in the future. With yeah. um. To tell in the chat. With the shotgun, it has yeah. the spread thing. Yeah. Could I also hit the guy behind him or? No, they have to be within five feet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If there are Wait, two what? people who are adjacent, you can you can hit both. Well, right. the, these two guys are oh, oh, then yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let me double check how spread works. I thought that was <laughs> if they're a certain range away, though. Uh, if, if you attack a creature that is beyond the first, the weapon's first range, you can also attack any creature yeah. adjacent to. The, oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Be, they have to be far away from me because then the the spread is right. actually okay. a spread. I got it. Cool. Uh, okay, maybe. But beyond that first, is that disadvantage when you roll? Yes. So I can do a spread attack at disadvantage. I think that, yeah. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to find it real quick. It's on page 34. Thank you. Yeah. Can we move through a non-allied space? Uh, uh, the ghouls? I know D&D &D rules. You can, just, just it's, the cool. it's yeah, two... two Two spaces instead of one, but oh I don't know. Oh my god, that'd be four I don't know if it, I don't know how it works <laughs> oh, in this. Oh, oh, oh. It's <laughs> difficult I'll move. I'll terrain, stay here. So it's like double, you yeah. know. Yeah, I'll just stay here. That'll use my entire my <laughs> my, action. My I'm going to add an addendum to that and say that it's not disadvantage when you when you, when you you um, are beyond the first range of, a, of, of the shotgun and you're using spread. Is that disadvantage just for the shotgun? That, that non disadvantage, is that just for <coughs> shotguns? Uh, possibly. Just for the spread ability? It's for the spread ability, yeah. Alright. Um, we'll see. For now, no. No disadvantage. And this is a reroll, correct? It's it is a reroll. Yeah. It's advantage. Okay. It's advantage and a reroll. Is it before I know the result type thing? It's a thing. It's like it's like when I say inspiration, you need to use it beforehand, and then everybody doesn't do that, and then we just kind of run with the fact that you don't have to do that. Um, <laughs> so what's the rule? The yes rule no? is that you need to do it before. Okay, then I won't use it. Um, so that's an an 8 and an eight an 18. An 8 and an 18? Yes. Uh, the 18 hits. Okay. Wasn't there AC 8 last time? Or was it 9? I don't remember. It was 10? Like it's 10. Uh, it's 10 right now. So. What's up? Their AC. I thought it was like super low last, okay, last game. Um, yeah, because I rolled a 2 and I rolled a 7. So I rolled a 9 and a 6. Oh, that's right. That's right. You said you needed a 3. That's. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a plus 7. Uh, 8 damage. Nice. To the guy. Right to, the guy right nice. to the guy right next to me. I made a decision. Sorry. Thank you for the eight damage, but I was thinking, I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna do that. Instead, the spread rule is going to apply so long as you aren't within five feet. So you can spread to another creature um, as long as you're not within five feet. That makes all sense. So it doesn't have to be beyond the first range. No. It can be so five feet of the original creature or both creatures. Um, of, I I would say you you're just not within five feet of both. So you could do it right now if you wanted to. But I am within five feet of one. But not one, but not, but not I both. I want him. It, okay. but one, yeah. but not both. Okay. Then I will do it to the other one. Does he also take eight damage? Uh, no. The damage four is damage. halved for both. Oh, then they both take so four. So both take four. Yeah. All right, cool. That's, um, that's how okay. the rule works now. <laughs> <laughs> so just, uh, just so I can clarify. Spread, there is no range requirement. No. It's not disadvantaged. No. But the damage is halved. The damage is halved. And you... Both targets cannot be within five feet of you. Yeah, only... One can be within five feet. Yeah. The other one has to be within five feet of, it, of mm -hmm. the target, but not within you. Yes. Got it. Okay. It's a little complicated, but no, we'll but figure like it that. out. All right, so four damage to both, and that is those guys right there. Um, that dude nearly dies, but he's still up, um, and the other guy takes it to his uh, stamina points. Which one nearly dies? Uh, the and one that one, is that one right, right in front yeah. of you. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Sarah Bella, it's your turn. I hate you, to do this to you again. Yeah. Molotovs do not have a radius. They um, don't have a, 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 an area of effect. Mm -hmm. At least not in explosives, they don't. Let me find it. They have a range. It's probably in some weird place. And I'm dumb. Could be ammunition, maybe? Uh, <coughs> explosives. Molotov cocktail. Uh, Ten-foot radius. It's under range. 
It's under the range. Warned. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I see what you're saying. At the range, strength times six is how far you can throw it. So those are different stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, okay. you can throw... What um, is your strength? Uh, my strength is like seven. You, seven. Uh, seven. So it would be 49. Seven. So you no, can throw 42? it up to... Uh, you can throw it up to 45 feet, yeah. and, it, and, it, and then it, when it lands, it's a different range. Okay, okay. I see, gonna, I see. I'm just going to call. It, it, do you mind it, is talking if you action? Can I just say something? Uh, real quick. Uh, everyone back up from them. Paige says that. Could I... So and then theoretically, could I jump I the walls off... Here and it goes block block ten feet ten feet. It's a ten foot radius. So pick that point and it goes ten feet out from there. So it'll go one two yes. one two one two. So you could can't, throw can't, it can't, 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 in the middle there. Here, right there, and it would it would hit it would go ten yeah. feet this way and ten feet that way. Okay, because I kind of want to do it here because then it goes this way. I'm fine with it hitting me. Actually, okay, I'm not fine with it hitting you. So you just don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you would. Um, it would it would hit alabaster if it was yeah, there. I don't want to do that. He's kind of the the doctor. Yeah, I would prefer not to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can heal yourself. Experience. You're so okay. great at this. Then I'll just well, I'll, I'll just do what I do best and I'll punch this dude. <laughs> I have eleven points because of my cycle. Um, so uh, yeah, you should have plus. So do you normally have nine? I do. Have yeah, one. you have eleven. Um, which I can do what? I can just always have <coughs> plus two if I do it this way. Okay, um, I'm just gonna. You said this one's one looking real bad. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. And I can attack uh, this person, correct? I guess I'm not technically in the space. I should, you can attack I should, that I person. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna attack this person twice with my fist. Go for it. Yes. Bonk, bonk. Crush his face. I'm gonna go big paunchy. Big paunchy. Oh, that's not very good. I don't no, think. Well, um, but it can? may still hit uh, because that is a uh, eleven. Oh. Eleven hits. Nice. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Which will be oh, for the first chainsaw. one, five, six plus two yeah. being uh, yeah. eight points oh, of cool. something. He, uh, eight points of damage. Might not die. Oh, oh, they have freaking. Do they have undead fortitude? Die. You punch him, and his jaw flies off, and he he's still alive. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have rolled two d six. It's only one d six. Oh. Well, then he's super alive still. Yeah. So he was <laughs> very alive. alive. I'm going to try to hit him again. Go for it. Uh, that one will hit. All right. I'll just give you another one, yep. which will be that instead. So I did... I guess technically it would have been seven on the first. Okay. And then three on the second. He does. <laughs> you go and you <laughs> blow his head open and he, he is dead. Okay. Was um, oh, that plus strength too? Yes. Your damage is plus strength. Oh, if he's dead, he's dead. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I have a lot You're of like, Billy Pig and Alabaster. over here. Page, you have, well, an, you have a recycled point. It doesn't matter anymore? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I actually have recycled Try to not stay too near them. Uh, three, so one. Okay. Right. I'll back they may explode. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I might make them explode. <laughs> I should clarify. Or you could not. I was uh, going to question yet, that. How does that work with a Gauss rifle? It's an energy weapon, so I'm not sure. It's weird. Yeah, we talked about this. I was like, oh, yeah, because I was going to put that gun in guns, wondering, and then you're yeah. like, it's an energy weapon, technically. I was like, it oh, is yeah. technically an energy weapon. In all Fallout games, it falls under energy weapon. <laughs> you're going to attack. Go for it. I'm going to shoot the guy. I'm pretty sure it falls 19 under... 19 to hit? Everything it falls under energy weapon. I should took that. 19 to hit? That's fine. Okay. Don't tempt yourself. <laughs> Be a good tank. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I rolled it. Two ones. Aww. <laughs> Four damage. Four damage to that guy right there? Yep. All right. Uh, right into his stamina points. Kind of dodges it a bit, but stamina really hits him. What's yeah, up? I don't know what this guy's doing. Uh, 18 to hit. Well, yep. 18 plus, up. and then um, eight, damage. eight damage. Eight damage. Eight it. God. He's bloodied and looking pretty, pretty hurt. I reload, and mm -hmm. I'm using my last point to take one step. Can I step up onto this? Yeah. Table? Yep. Cool. I'm up on the table. <clears throat> that's, that's fine. Uh, we uh, are the tables are fixed to the ground? Uh, no. There there be a fix. We probably should have moved yeah. these tables um, in a more advantageous <laughs> position for you guys. They're behind <laughs> cover. Up, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Didn't think about it. No. Next time we'll learn. Think about it as soon as he stepped up on the yeah. table. Yeah. I think about it way earlier. I was like, dang it. To have a ready action. Okay. So I'm using eight action points for this Ooh. to once the other ghoul gets 
within five feet of this other one, I'm going to shoot at the lower, the lower one. Okay, sounds good. Henry um, Goldman. So cool, and it takes. So you're readying an attack action. Yes. Cool. Yeah. So um, just for everybody who doesn't know, readying is just two action points plus what you're um, plus the already action, and you use that. Yep. Um, cool. So uh, the ghoul in that ghoul's dead, right? We only have two. Yeah. Two. Okay. <laughs> then um, the ghoul in the middle there is going to uh, punch you. No, please. That is my job. <laughs> Four times? <laughs> that's, that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. I'm much different than the first game. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve? Uh, to hit? Mm-hmm. Miss. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Fifteen? Uh, hit. Um, lower than twelve. And uh, 18. Uh, yeah. So two hits. Okay. That's not bad. Still not bad. Good, man. We, we, we've got the, the first best damage yet. is four. So one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second damage is six. So three. One, two, cool. three. Okay. Cool. Dude. Dun, 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 so dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Barely even hurts you. <laughs> so um, cool. That ghoul turns the corner and sprints all the way down. Goes 5, 10, 15, 20. Gets to there. And then you can take your shot at it, Paige. Awesome. Please don't let me down roll. Well, you have your cap. I, I've already used the cap. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, you're good. Not natural 20. Ooh, yeah, roll damage. Um. Not bad, not bad. That is... Which one are you shooting? I'm Both? shooting the oh, lower yeah. one. Um. <laughs> Then his little dance is a freaking me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I'm I want him to stop. 15 damage, okay. I believe. 15. Okay. They love each other, Craig. I'll Look put him in the dirt. Look at him. You know. They like dancing. Yeah. He dies. Um, you Meltdown. fire. Yep. Um, as I, so, you, you know, the normal way to describe this perk is that it's like a, it's like you hit it with a laser or an energy mm -hmm. weapon, and it just overloads the body with heat and plasma, and it just explodes. But you're using a Gauss rifle. <laughs> so, um, where, um, I, I have an idea, I, but if you have a better idea, I think it's somewhat similar. But instead of it just being like an overload, of like, like almost like a heat wave that comes out, it's almost like like, like an electrical wave that kind of. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the, uh, almost mm -hmm. like a forceful electric wave mm -hmm. as the bullet goes in, it just <laughs> explodes the body, mm -hmm. um, which then uh, does uh, damage to the next one. Same amount, 15. 15 damage really? to that guy. Dang. Nice. So um, boom, boom, and then it like it hits says, the other dude. All creatures within five feet of the dead creature take damage equal to the damage oh. that killed the creature. It's bloodied, not dead though. Does Sarah um, that also one take is that? going to finish his yeah, turn. And go. Oh, sorry, Sarah sorry. Bella does take that damage. I take what? 15? 15. Ooh! Uh, so 12. So that would go past my second that's threshold. The, that's the mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. so. 12. Um, 14, 16. So 2 into second threshold. Nice. You're taking more damage from your comrades. <laughs> you did do 15 damage to that other ghoul, though. It's that's, looking yeah. bloody that's real great. bad. But it finishes its turn and uses its final two points to get within range of you, Paige. Okay. Um, it has nine points. It is going to uh, use a um, legendary action to revive its fallen brothers. It evades that 15 Arise. damage. He does a little dance. Yeah, he does a little dance. They all get up. I told you that dance was, was yeah. bad. Look at him. I told you. Look at him. I know. <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> they're, wearing, they're wearing hoods. I can repair the room. It's fine. Well, they've been acting uh, up. <laughs> um, it's going to use slam. Yep. So it's going to get uh, three slams on you. First slam is a 19. I mean, yeah. These ghouls were a dance crew. They were. Uh, that, yeah. Wasn't that its yeah. last two action points to get there? No, because it recycled. It recycled so many of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, it recycled like, to 15. 15, yeah. 15, 15 man. It has nine left. Yeah. Um, it is going Jesus. to, uh, the first attack does okay. nine damage. We'll just wait my first turn okay. out. I'm just like, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not bloody. I'm, I'm not, I haven't taken hit point yet. Damage yet. Okay. Second attack is a yeah. dirty just 20. <laughs> no hit. <laughs> Gotta do it to my way first. Eight bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Okay, now I'm taking some. <laughs> You're bloody. Um, technically, yeah. Um, I'm going to flip your karma cap, and I'm going to get advantage on this last one. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, boy. I rolled so bad. <laughs> I got an eight. That misses. That misses. <laughs> okay, well, whatever, whatever. Uh, the last one whoosh, just swings over you, um, and you, uh, you're good. All right, top of the round, Huck. I shoot him. Shoot him. I shoot him only once, though. Then I need to reload. All right. 
with a miss. I used. I fired and I missed. I fired and I missed. I fired, um, fired and I missed. And I, missed I fired again. again. <laughs> Had a popsicle. Passed out in the snow. <laughs> um, how much is reload? How many? Uh, Actually, six. Six. Uh, can't even fucking reload. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I shot one laser and stopped. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna uh, be it forever. <laughs> oh well, I'm sure he'll die this round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I just saw uh, Paige melt a man, so <laughs> I'll back up a little bit. That'll be my turn. All right. Um, yeah. Sarah Bell. I don't think it's left and exploded in like, electrical one, one. energy. Right? That's how that works. If you have two, you, you get use? one back. You just reloaded and then moved? No, I shot, missed, and then backed up. Uh, <laughs> <how> <laughs> much was your I don't have five. five yeah. Yeah. And, then how much, and then you went one, two, three. three. How many do you have total? Ten. Ten, so you recycle one. You yeah. get one more on your next one. Cool. Recycle half. I'm going to put you on who my <coughs> allies are now. So I'm going to go here, <laughs> and I'm going to do like this and go like... <laughs> Maybe on oh. page? Well, I didn't shoot, Maybe I didn't shoot you. Oh. I shot the ghoul, and the ghoul happened to explode. Tyler, this is Bethesda you. programming. You, yeah. you, you attacked it. Yeah. You attacked it. Right. You're hostile now. You took, <laughs> you took this chicken, you have to die. <laughs> um, and, I, and, and I will Vegas. punch nice. ghoul. I was playing New Vegas last night, yeah. and a random we were fighting a bunch of fiends, and a random citizen, which had no no weapons, randomly punched a fiend but missed and hit Veronica, and Veronica decided, I'm taking on the entirety of Vegas now. <laughs> and fought everybody. I was like, stop! Stop! Uh, <laughs> did, you, did you, like, have I to reload? I hate dog meat. Yeah, I had to reload this looking for trouble. Okay, He's I'm like, gonna roll. There's, there's guys over there? I'm I moved. I have there. two attacks. Get <laughs> okay. okay. uh, up. One's die. a 20, one's a above a 10. Crit 20? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Above a 20. 20 and yeah, both hit. Roll, okay, I will, I, will, I will recycle nothing okay. for this one. I need the damages separate, by Absolutely. The way. I can do that. That'll be fucking you. Piece. <laughs> That's five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's still alive. Seven. He dies. How do you want nice. to Nice. <laughs> um, you know what? If, if, if he lives that one, I'm going to go back this way, and I'm just going to grab his little head and go... <laughs> and then when it falls, I'm going to look at. I'm going to do this with my little, like, little claw. Be like, awesome. <laughs> you do so. You <laughs> kill him. So He's cool. now dead. Yeah, you're oh, next. <laughs> I can repair we're, him. We're, we're not out of you better yet. So I, I'm going to kill Peggy. You know, if, if you kill me, I, I'm I can the best bet to repair you. I can repair myself. Too. Thank you very much. I can repair much. you as well. You know, I'll, you know, you know, kill me. <laughs> Well, you kind of like, <laughs> yep. I mean, so, granted, you did try to blow the robot up. I did not try well, to blow the robot up. I gave blew a up some warning ahead of time out. that they could blow up, and they decided not to stay back. I we, can't. Uh, my we... turn was after you shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I couldn't move. I think move. I said it just before you did your turn. And no, you, no, no, you no. shot no, after this. You no. did it. You did it. You no, made the action. I, no, I, it, it I said it. It was Sarah Bella's turn. It was, it was on your turn. I had said it just oh, after okay. Huck's turn. Then you do not get squished. <laughs> I'll be like, then you survive. <laughs> Honor a meat bag. Look at these funky Honor. little guys. I go, uh, get out of here. <laughs> Stop. No. It's like cup and hand all over again. Every game. No, no. All right. You guys defeat all of the ghouls and um, level up successfully. Well, let me figure out level how much. Up. While I figure out well, how much XP you guys have, we're going to go ahead and go on break. Oh. Uh, real break this time. We'll be back in a couple of minutes where we'll be playing more games. Patrons. See, you know what? Oh, I will read the patrons before we Patron go on the oh. uh, While, while like. Jacob looks at the patrons, it's just a patron. so, so you guys know, we, uh, we figured out XP. <laughs> Yeah, we did. So it's a thousand per every level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, every level is just a thousand XP. So. And, and also, system, what we we're writing a book. You yeah, that's true. You can go sign up for a little email and learn yeah. some cool, Look some secrety secret. <laughs> As if I put it in the description. Like Search Questonomicon on, on Google, Google and it'll it, show up. It's the first result, which is awesome. And apparently, if you try really hard, can't you find the landing page for the uh, newsletter? Right now, I think the only way you can get to the landing page is through the newsletter. Yes. So if okay. you want to get to the landing page, sign up to the newsletter. Right. You'll get an email that'll yep. later that'll put you on the, on yeah. the landing page. Yeah. Stop shelling out, guys. Jeez, all right. We, we uh, were stalling for you. Big shout out to Dub Mill, Dig Dean, Noah Barden, Big Buff, Soft. You know what? Hang Melody on. Hang on. 
So um, they told me how to pronounce their name, and I'm gonna figure it out right now. <laughs> give me a second. Melody. Give me, give me one. Give me. That hang one? on. I don't think it's Melody. No. Right hang on. Hang on. Give me one second. One second. Mm-hmm. Me, did, hang on. Did they did they at you on Twitter and say your name? My Ellie. Name? It's my Ellie. There oh. we go. My Ellie Whitetail. Oh. Cyber Reptar oh, so 13, Melody Olvera, Michael, Red Storm, Arthur Sulza, Six Salmon and a Salmon Cask, Duncan York, <laughs> Pimpin' the Hood, Will Pratt possibly related to Chris Pratt, Zav Creator of D&D Waifus, Micah God of Puns, Jaren, Addison Henning, The Psychic Pineapple, Fluffy the Barbarian, Teutonic Knight, Penguin Culture, Up, Up, Down, Down, Left, Right, Left, Right, B, A, Start, Now You All Have Unlimited Lives. No! No! <laughs> Adam Halleck, Death the Fire, Angriest Bird God, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Mimi H, Laurent, Notorious Thief, Jessica M. Reno, Kate L. Autism, I'm going to put some golf balls in your eyes, <laughs> Lauren Verlaine, Borger, Josh Travis, a vault dwelling furry, help they want to shave me, Cal the God, <laughs> Grant Goad, Alex Rogers, Ryan Eisenberg, Tom Michael, Shuriken Sean, Taylor Shuriken Capiola, Sean. Mir Damn. Muriel That's Stull. my next Fallout character. <laughs> <laughs> and Laird Olive. Thanks everybody so Sheesh. much for supporting us on Patreon. Love you so much again. We're going to go on break and see you in a bit.
Bring up yes. that I look like Megamind? Yeah. Marshall looks like Megamind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do. Ma- what Marshall, is uh, happening? Marshall looks like Have you forgotten what he looks like? He looks, um, Marshall looks like Neil Patrick Harris. Yep. Marshall looks like Robin Williams. Marshall looks like that Megamind. And Marshall also looks like Alex the Lion from Madagascar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you say that one. Now, Alex like, the Lion? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'll take that. Madagascar. You look like him? Mega <laughs> I, I, I don't think it. so. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hey, hey, Craig. I don't know. What are you talking Marshall, about? He means like my intelligence now. matches Mega No. I'm so smart. <laughs> I think it's more the enormously pointy nose. I just don't think that's me at all. I hate to say it, but like your sister would disagree. She would say that I look like Mr. Tumnus. You uh, all right, though. Like yeah. I, get, I get Mr. Tumnus a lot. Get Mr. Tumnus? I don't like this. No. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I, I don't want Mr. Tumnus to be my doctor. But, but, uh, <laughs> we, we need to stop this right now. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus has a gun. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus has a gun. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't tell you. Alabaster plays a pan flute. So. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. His creepy little goat <laughs> legs. So you play a pan flute? He does, actually. He does, yeah. yeah. That's you just play a pan flute. All right, so um, you guys <laughs> just killed a bunch of ghouls. Um, it's, nice, it's a nice segue. It's a nice yeah. transition. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Mega Mind with a giant head. So you guys are fighting zombies. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. That's where I was going to go. So blue ghouls. So now what? Well, uh, oh, geez. I kind of want to repair, but that takes a long time. Hmm. It takes a yeah. long time to do anything in old Entish. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I have to agree with that one. Um, well, we said we were. I mean, we said we were going to heal you. Yeah. So, I mean, and I've done that now. Should we take the time and, and do a little bit? Well, we could do. Actually, it takes an hour, but if we did you and I, it'd be only thirty minutes. We could mm-hmm. do two of them in an hour's time. Yeah, we could do that with an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if, just because yeah, I don't mind me and going into the radiated area and getting what we need to retrieve but if I get there and become dysfunctional yeah and you guys have to repair me in the irradiated zone it's gonna be worse might just be better to do it here all right oh pizza time pizza 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 time in Harlan Queens I want to roll a dice to repair myself okay take an hour to do it uh if she helps me it's 30 minutes right yeah what if she helps me do it that's not your solar power thing right yeah that's just no that's just my natural thing takes an hour uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Paige can help. Can you roll a d20 to add Paige's crafting? Okay. Yeah, you do it, Marshall. You do it. I, I you do it. it. How about I do it? How about I do it? I could roll it. Yeah, I think it. you should. Okay. Right I'm already doing it. Alright. What's Paige's crafting? Oh, ah, you roll a one? I rolled a natural one. Oh. Let's see what Marshall would have gotten. The crafting bonus is nine. Marshall would have gotten a five. Ten. So not much better. Or eight. Can you? Jack dice. Can you? Ten. Um, Okay. So it, it takes it's not on that 25 page, minutes. So <laughs> All that's right. fair. While that's happening, uh, Dr. Alabaster would like to investigate these ghoul bodies. I'll check on one. Right. Oh. You go to the ghoul bodies and you look down at them. And as you kind of look down, you notice that their flesh is almost like melded with their clothing. Do my mind, Jacob? <clears throat> as you go over to the ghoul bodies, <laughs> you notice that their flesh has melded with their bodies. Um, a bit. That, as you go over the ghoul bodies, you notice that their flesh has melded with their clothing. So, um, they're, they almost look like they're just like fully naked, almost like Ken dolls. Um, but their, um, their skin is very like sticky, plasticky, and it kind of like, um, uh, pulls apart a little bit, um, as you, as you look down. Um, uh, but I mean, some of them have, their heads are exploded and they look really bad. Um, uh, you notice that, uh, um, there's nothing on them really, but you do see um, like bits of what could be clothing kind of pushed into the skin a bit, um, and you notice a distinctive blue color. Can I kind of like feel around for any pockets and see if there's anything in pockets? And... Roll. Um, do we have investigation? I don't we think do that's not. a skill. No. Um, then just roll. Um, just roll With intelligence. Science or science or um, survival. <laughs> Yeah, over there. Yeah, you're fine. We're just searching ghoul bodies. Um, roll. Perception. Roll perception. Perception. Oh, it was on 13. It was resting on 13. <laughs> I was watching it rest, and I swear 
the, the forces that be that was that beside me just naturally moved to 13 and was like, rest no. <laughs> to a natural one. No! Well, add your bonus still. Two. <laughs> you don't find anything. I don't find anything. All right. Freaking turds. Like, you're like trying to figure out, like, you can't tell what's flesh and what's a pocket. And this is a flesh pocket. Oh. And you like to reach in oh. and it's like, and it's like, Ugh. and it like goes, and it like spills out with liquid, and the liquid is like is like is like pussy, and you're like, yeah, now nah, I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the second time today I've wanted to throw up. I mean, I imagine he'd be more like putting his hand in there, and he's like, oh man, there's no. just a bunch left uh, over. This don't have doesn't bother him, oh, yeah, because okay. the surgeon is just like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, don't it's have just, stomach. just taking it out and just dropping. And then you just realize that this is just like, then you find like a bone, and you're like, this isn't a pocket. Oh, pocket. All right, well. I tell you what, I was just pulling goop out of this guy. <laughs> if I had a nickel every time, I thought it was a pocket. <laughs> oh. oh, by the way, Paige, <laughs> uh, the nickels. party, uh, <laughs> you two. helped the person was uh, Sarah Bella get repaired, but um, Spencer rolled for you and rolled Hey, you don't got to call me out. So like it that. took, instead of 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Great. <laughs> then I rolled so well tonight. Yeah. yeah. I was, and then I had to roll for you. Um, I was going to do something. And I forgot what it was. <coughs> Fine. Guess I'm not doing it. Oh, do any of them have pit boys? Roll perception. One is a pit boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um. I don't know why I was looking over there. Uh, fif- uh fifteen. Yeah. Ew. No, Gabe. That's gross. <laughs> oh. It said, "Drink the forbidden ghoul Gatorade." No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> one one thousand rads. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dead. Just you have page. I evolve into a ghoul. Um. Oh. Also, over the course of being in here and investigating, being in the kitchen, fighting the ghouls, and repairing yourself up the forty-five minutes and everything that you're doing right now, everybody takes twenty. Sorry, everybody takes eight rads. Mm. Sounds good. I think everybody immediately resists. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, do you? Uh, you Ten. go down. With the oh, gas okay, mask, yeah. yeah. And you yeah, do, right. um, as you look over, you do I find remnants of plus the gas like, mask, so. pieces of what would be a pit boy, but it's been completely destroyed and ruined by by um, the, uh, the, like, it's weird. It's like the flesh, like, overtook portions of it and then broke it, and then there's, like, shards of metal still left over, but you don't find it intact. Roof. Pit boy. Ugh. All right, well, you good? Mm-hmm. Let's go check it out. Should, so should are we, we? going to wait here while you guys go? I think so. Do you want me to take that thing? Do we know how much radiation's down there? That That's a good point. Not gonna help. Be, sorry. Huh? My finger fell off. Sure. It's not going to show up here anyways. Yeah, I'll put it on. <clears throat> we could, if radiation dies down, we could come back and get you and tell you if there's just a small bit of it. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so also, other thing. Nobody hit zero during that <coughs> combat, right? No. no. Okay, so... Oh, it's P. Yeah. Uh, keep going, actually. Okay, um... Oh, we should have. Can I just lay down? And get back <laughs> off? Uh, just take advantage. Sarah, Bella, and Huck are going to explore over Everybody there. Everybody gets 40 XP. Oh. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 40. It'd be 40. 40 XP. 40 XP. I was smart and wrote all this down. I wrote down what it is. If you guys do a difficult quest, it's 400 XP. If you guys do an easy encounter, it's 4% of what you need to level up, which is 40. Very nice. Yeah. All right. All right um, um, what if I commit like a genocide? Maybe we would not. Well, you up. probably It depends on how hard it was. <laughs> A hard genus, a soft genocide? If genocide? we complete quests, so. Now, how, hard, how difficult it was for you. Oh, then to produce. You can go ahead and remove that. Um, you, oh. and. <laughs> what, did you see me dance? Where's Emma? I was like the scarecrows. <laughs> you learned. <laughs> Hello? Where's Emma? Emma's Hang on, on the I couch. got her. Hey, Colton. Ooh. I hate it. Um. <clears throat> No, no unnecessary noise, please. You make your way in, scratcher? and Ooh. as you push into... Those <laughs> grits? As you two push through the kind of uh, 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 hole in this wall that was very clearly like carved through, and you watch as like, the steel goes in, and it literally pushes through st- like rock. 
and then it goes out on the other side and into this room. You look over and see an enormous, um, like, machine. And it's, like, rumbling and rumbling. And you can see, like, it's almost, like, glowing as well. And there's, like, this sort of, like, green glow kind of um, um, emanating from this thing. Wonderful. And you look over and you mm -hmm. do see one slot. And in the center of this slot, it's very obvious, there seems to be um, some sort of, like, like, fusion core in the center there. And it's mm -hmm. kind of, like... Is there anything down here, though? Like, people? You look around? No. You, um... Any any of the ghouls that were left over are, are not here. Can I can I see that there's like a stairwell? Mm -hmm. Is that what that is? A stairwell? Looks like it. Does it go down or up? It goes up. <laughs> to where? Um, I took the pit boy. Uh, how many rads are down here? Oh, uh, as you step into this room, it goes from like five to twenty to fifty to a hundred to then going up to from to hour down to second, and it is it's like five a second. And they can die can, can instantly. You put it back, can you put it next to this isotope thing? I assume this is what that is. 5, 10, 50, 100, and then it like, it like caps out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's that thing. Um, the you like grab it, and you're like vibrating from it, and then you, oh, you yeah, take yeah. it out? Yep. Try. As you pull it out, oh, it unslots, oh. and, and the entirety of the lights all shut off. The entire vault stops moving, That's and there is a blast of like some some concussive force that <laughs> blows out from this thing and blows you both backwards. Both of you roll strength check. Oh boy. <coughs> Ooh, good. Oh, come on now. Uh, six. Dirty twenty. Six dirty twenty. Uh, six, six, belly, you take six damage <laughs> okay. as Sheesh. you um, are blasted back onto the ground. You you watch you watch Sarah Bell like fall. And like, <laughs> scrape across the ground. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> do, and I, then, do I take anything? You guys just watch as, like, and all, like the all, the, all the lights just but turn But the off. door, do oh, the I door stay open? And the doors. Oh. Oh. If they got what? Well, weren't they taking the power thing or something? Yeah, I'm assuming they shut okay, the, the power doors off. closed, that's bad. We, we lost the reactor now. Mm. Now okay. it's Wait, all the doors shut? Mm -hmm. So we shut in here now? Yeah. You, you guys are trapped in here. Currently. You guys seem pretty certain that that was a good thing that happened just now. You don't think uh, someone's... Can I put it back? No, well, it's something that I expected. If I could. Please. Roll science. Jacob? Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to turn the table over sideways. Okay. I'm going to go over <laughs> and grab the other table, slide it over, and put okay. it on the other side of me. So I'm going to make some barriers. Make some barriers. And I'm uh, like resting my shotgun up on the table, and I'm just like watching the door. You take this and this and make up where you want the barriers to be. Oh, yeah. uh, 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4. Very you 20. go in and you, you like, before just shoving it in, you look in. It goes this way. Oh, that's a USB. And you push it in, <laughs> and then it turns, and then you push this button. <laughs> and it all lights back up again, um, and immediately the rads just <laughs> like start um, going up once again. Um, and all of <laughs> as you're like you put over the second table, um, Alabaster, all of the lights click, click, turn back on, and all of the doors. Uh, no, the doors don't reopen, but all the lights turn back on. So, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yeah. Hopefully that stairwell Hatch. leads to outside. Mm -hmm. We can tell them to just head out. Because like if they come in here, they'll die. Okay. Do you want to go? Page will die well, for sure. Go make sure that's a hatch first, because I don't right. think I can get this. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk over there. Okay. You walk back over. You see the door is closed. No, oh, to no, the stairwell. There. Oh, you go to the stairwell. Okay. Yeah. Or what it, I think is the <clears throat> stairwell. I don't know what it is exactly. It, it's a yeah. It's a spiral staircase. Can I open the like top of it? You go to the top. It's flat. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it goes all the way up and it goes to nothing. Like a like rock, nothing. No, like concrete. Uh, there's oh. it's concrete. I, well, how do we get out with this thing? Uh, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, maybe we can find something to keep the doors from closing. One, two, three, four. Oh, I think we could do it. We okay. test it out I there. don't know how heavy the doors are, though. Well, let's see. All right. See. I'm um, going to go over and open the first door to go back this way. Uh, okay, go over. Yeah, well, you, well, I just as you have put here. up the barriers, you guys are standing around. The door opens. You guys see how. The lights are back on? Sorry, you hear The lights are back on. Oh, okay. So we uh, took the battery out, the thing we're here for. Oh, also, uh -huh. will we get paid double if we take that back to the NCR? I forgot to mention that. Perfect. Oh, okay, okay. That's They want it. Um... 
problem, the second we take it out, everything closes, the lights turn off. Um, okay. Hmm. What about the stairway? Oh, the stairway I didn't mention yet? Yeah, there's a stairway in there. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't mention it, but the guy said that that leads to the office. It. Um, I guess I could push that up. No, he said it was concrete. We wouldn't lay concrete. Yeah. Well, there was right? a hole, though. And I pushed it down. Was it concrete? I don't know. It was heavy to get down. I can maybe well, push we, it back oh, up. We I'll could try and see here. about opening that room back up in the, in the overseas. I office. can try that. Okay. Uh, if you guys go in there, you will probably die instantly. Oh, fuck. Oh, um, what is that? It's uh, this thing maxed out. Ooh. Um, seconds. I've never heard of that before. Um, That's not good. I didn't even know it had a max in. <laughs> That's a very powerful radiation source, then. Yeah. Hmm. Well, then. So what are you guys thinking? So I was thinking that you guys could head back up to the, the man Maybe up there. Maybe we can open the... I'm going to try to push it open. Uh, if I can't, know? I'll radio him. We you guys can maybe pull from above. We have, we have a problem, okay. though. There's a door in between. Mm, that's true. I was thinking, actually, we yeah. have I don't think one, we can... two, three. There's actually a door again. Those doors... Those doors <coughs> if you could find fell. a way to keep the door from shutting... I gotta say that those doors smashed a ghoul, so I don't think we're holding them up ourselves. Mm -hmm. But we have four tables. Uh, are, there, are those tables metal? Yeah, they are made of metal. Why don't we just uh, go to the door in the overseer's office? And, uh, you know, this one over here is pretty good with uh, rewiring. Why don't we just disconnect the door from any power? So you could that, try that. Uh, it's a better idea. Disable the door. Yeah. Cool. Rather than dragging tables to the door. When the doors are disabled, they open. seem to default to shut, is the problem. Can he disable them so they don't shut? Can you do that? I can see, but I don't. It depends on how the mechanism is set up. I'm going to go try to sh open that hatch, mm -hmm. see if I can even have that happen in the first place. go around the other way. You can go ahead. Yeah. Um, um, you are going to have to tell have that the, guy that his wife's probably can dead. Can I have the pit boy back? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to retune it to the station to the 301 if you need to contact us up there. Okay. Uh, I can hear. I can't say anything back, but I can hear you. Are you strong? Yeah. Okay. Jacob, talk about while they're doing that. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot a very important detail. Oh. Okay. As you do, you know, like, st like, I. This is written down right here, mm -hmm. and I just forgot to mention it. I'm not making this up as we're currently going, and I, I'm sorry that I missed it. There's a there's a there's a door in that room. Oh. In right. that room in there, the room that you guys were in with the ah. thing. There's a door in there. Okay. Yes. I'm just gonna say that I didn't notice it the first time. Cool. There you go. It was dark. Too busy blown up. I, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and go back that way. I'll go up to you. I'm going to wait here and see what happens. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll go back in that room. Okay, you go back in. Oh, a door. A door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready to go up to the overseer's office. Yeah. See what's going on. Up, okay, you make your way up. Um, I'll come with. You guys go up the stairs, back through the hallway, back up through the thing, up through the door, go in, um, and then you see Ernest again, and he looks up and he says, Hey, progress? Uh, yeah. Nothing good so far. What? Uh, all we run into is more ghouls. To be honest. I'm afraid there might not be anyone left. It's impossible. Well. Uh, How many of them were down there? We fought what? Like Four, and then we fought six we in fought the. Ten total? Ten, yeah. I'm not there, but you know that. Uh, yeah, but I, I, yeah. I knew the number. Well, it was more than ten. How many were there? About 50. Well, there's definitely massive amounts of As far as we know, there's only there. one other way to go, which is back through the overseer's Why office. The one reactor was... It feels like it's the reactor is spewing out massive amounts of radiation. At we this they even there. get in there. At this moment, Huck will probably be like, Hey, I found another door. I'm going to look in there. Over. <laughs> I can't respond right. to that. Oh, you, you can respond to that. That's perfect. Yeah. You go over to the door. Do you open it? Yeah. The door, like, rises and it opens. And as soon as you um, look inside, you see what looks like a small, like, um, like a junk closet. 
Okay. Um, and uh, 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 there's it's it's maybe just a, like about ten feet in length and like uh, ten feet in width. Um, there are like uh, pillars. No, not cabinets, not drawers. Cubbies? No. Shelves? Like, well, shelves! Okay. The word shelves! Okay. Okay. Metal shelves! Okay. With, like, a bunch of, like, junk all over them. Oh. And as you open the door, there's somebody sitting in the back. Oh. And they look up at you. Um, this person mm. no longer has skin on their face. Cool. Their nose is melted and gone. And you instinctively almost reach down to your weapon as you see the school, um, and she looks up at you and she says, Wait, wait, wait. How did you open that door? Hit the button. She kind of stands up. She, says, ah. she walks over and she looks at the thing. She says, I've been trying to open it for months. Well, we're here to help. Who are you? My name's Huck. And she reaches out and she just hugs you. Oh. She says, thank you. You wouldn't happen thank to be you. Ernest's wife, would you? She looks up, she says, yes. Oh, well, he's upstairs. And then she kind of slinks back a bit. <coughs> he's alive. Yeah. I, can... I can't see him like this. Oh, I'm sure he'd love to see you. Very worried about you. Do you know where the other people are? They left. They left. How did they leave? She kind of steps out of the door and she points over at that stairway. They forced it open. A bunch of us were getting poisoned. The radiation. They're starting to look like me. Yeah. And then they started going crazy. Yeah. A good portion of people were able to open that and get out. They found the vault door. I don't know where they went after that. I I wanted to wait for Ernest. I couldn't seem to find him. He's upstairs. He's still here. He got trapped in a portion of the vault. Uh, he had food and water enough to survive, but he's, uh, he's, <sighs> he's all right. And she kind of like breaks down for a moment and then she looks up and she says, okay, all right, take me to him. Do you want me to tell him that you're, like, alive? Do you want me to tell him you're a ghoul? <laughs> I know you don't know what a ghoul is. Uh, what what did we... you just call me? It's what we call you uh, outside of the vault. Wait, there's more of me? Yeah. Usually they... We, the take ones... me to Ernest, please. Okay. You want me to tell him that you're here? Might take me a second to get you back up there. Okay. Uh, I think I found your Pause. wife. You guys, <laughs> you guys hear nothing for quite a while. Well, we're going to the overseer. Okay, you guys go to the can, office. Um, Ernest comes with stuff, you. Right? Um, you guys make your way over, um, and now you're inside. You see all of the the computers and comms and whatnot. He did not go. You're in there. Yes. Yep. Yeah, this is our team right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see. Good if, luck. Um, can I first with? the door that goes to the hallway to the overseer's office. Yes. Can I see if I can find a way to mm -hmm. prevent it from closing when the power gets shut off? Hmm. Other uh, than just roll sticking... science. I was gonna say, other than just sticking something underneath it. Mm -hmm. Natural 20 plus 7. Whoa. There is no way to do so. They're falling literally because the the electricity okay. is stopping from keeping it open. Okay. The hydraulics mm -hmm. just fail, and they just mm -hmm. fall, basically. Um, so the, if you manually hold it up, it'll stay open. Okay. Um, how much pressure do I think could... It's it, it, There's no pressure. It's just I, the weight of the door. That's what I mean. How much weight do I think that it could be? About 200 pounds. Do I think one of those metal tables would work? Oh, yeah. Metal tables? Metal tables. That's, uh, that's all we can do. You guys go all the way down, go <laughs> down, around, uh, go to a table. You see alabaster... Tables. Behind um, one of the tables. It'll work. Sorry. The if they're doing this stuff, Alabaster's going through all the rooms, and he's trying to find like notes and like letters or journals. He's trying to look for like documents of what the heck's going on around here. Hmm. Okay. You go into uh, one of the rooms, and you, you search around. You don't really find much. You do find a letter in one. 
you find one. It is <coughs> written by one by the name of Charles, hmm. um, and Aww. it is addressed to Ernest. And I don't have a whole letter, letter written up, but it basically says things have gotten really bad. It's we don't know where you are or where you went. If you ever find it, I hope we find you again someday. But we have to leave. And and then it's signed Charles. Okay. Um. Uh, you guys take a table as you're carrying the table up. I would help them at this point with the table. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. You say your thing. Uh, hey, uh, Ernest, I uh, found your wife. She's alive, uh, but she is a ghoul. So <laughs> prepare yourself for that. And for my companions, she is not you a feral could have been ghoul. A little nicer about it. She still looks beautiful. I'm sure you'll still love her. You're just being fake. I don't know what to say now. She's getting quite upset at me. Uh, over. Where is she? <laughs> I'll bring her up there as soon as I can get this door open. And I'm gonna go you don't over. Get to, a response. I'm gonna go over to the stairwell. Okay. You go to that stairwell? Yeah. Okay, you should go over there. You guys take the table all the way up. Um, you guys go up and as you go over, you see Ernest pacing. Got the message? Hey, uh, do you want to well, go through this closet? We know. Yeah. Like, do, you think, do you guys have the, the table? Because I can try and open that sure. thing. I'm going to go to the overseer's yeah. office and go to the play. computer and try and open the door. Wait. Click. Oh, click. Pssst, it opens. You hear and oh. above you, the stairway opens up with a bit of light. Do you think we need to set the table vertically so that we can get through? Mm, yeah, I think that'd probably be the best bit. Are you going up the stairway? Um, well, I'd like to go through this uh, door if I had the, or this, not this door, this uh, closet if I had the time. We'll look through it together. Yeah, sure. While they're setting up the chair um, and stuff. Give me one second. Uh, you do so. So you go up the stairs to help them with the table? I'm sorry, what did you just say? <laughs> uh, we wanted to go through the closet that she was in. To oh. see if there's stuff in there that'd be useful. Yeah, you find Wonder Glue, Turpentine, Duct Tape. Um, you find a wrench. You find, uh, you find um, a lot of junk. You find a broom. Oh. Do we? Do you think we need any of this stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You all right? Take what you need. Um, and then I'll go over with. Um, can I get her name? Do you ask her her name? Yeah. What's your name? <coughs> Julia. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Julia the Gulia. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you go towards Ended. the stairs and uh, you make your way up. And uh, as you do, you. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> um, you make your way up and you guys go up and you guys are like setting up the table onto the door um, and like, mm, like shoving it in there. You go up the stairway and make your way out. And at some point, you, you kind of like turn over the corner. Uh, um, and Julia looks over and sees Ernest, and Ernest sees her, and he he isn't super taken aback. He kind of just walks forward, and she kind of turns and she she goes back beyond the corner. She's like, "I don't think I can do this." Ah, uh, he didn't look he didn't look uh, too worried. Full persuasion. Uh, come on, I'm gonna use my cap. All right. Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, 16 for persuasion. Yep. She looks 16. up at you, and then slowly moves around the corner. And Ernest comes over, outstretches his hand towards her, mm. and he says, Julia, is that you? And she says, Yes. And he just embraces her. Mm. Aww. And they both start crying. Oh, and cool. he says, I'm so happy you're alive. And she says, I thought you were dead. <coughs> and they're both very happy. Yeah. So now we pull the power, right? Yeah, Sarah Bella's still down there. Um. Oh, so we set the door up, we set the, the table up vertically so that yeah. Sarah Bella can hopefully get through. Well, let's hope that she can get up the stairs. Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
stairs. Okay, I'll, I'll yell down. Nice. All right, we're good. I'll pull the isotope. <clears throat> <clears throat> the entire thing shuts down. The table, the the door <clears throat> just hits the table. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, everybody, I assume, uh, do you make your way over towards the, um, you, you go over towards the stairs, go up them, mm-hmm. make your way out. You guys are now all in the vault lobby entrance with the door. The door's cracked open, isn't it? Yeah. The wall one? Yeah. All right. I think it's time for us to leave. How big is this thing? Should we, um... Can we check the dagger? I'm going to put it underneath all of my Molotovs. What's the Geiger counter? (laughs) The Geiger counter? (laughs) We're going to blow up. Um, We're going to go for the bang. Where are you standing? Like, right right next to the vault. As Sarabella comes up, it goes from, like, it, it goes from, like, one to two to three. Kind of stays there. With us in within range of Cerebella? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Cerebella, are you like holding it out or are you like you putting no, it No, I'll, I'll pop it in my bag. Okay, yeah. And then it kind of just, it sort of goes down a bit. Okay. And that stays there. Why am I guessing that? Uh, let's hope that outside dead. isn't too bad. Yeah, that's what I was worried yeah. about. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll know. Oh. I think all those schools that we saw are those. Possibly. Mm. Or they've dispersed, oh. maybe. Who knows? Julia said that all of the people who were here left. Ernest and Julia are kind of talking yeah, while you guys are them, talking, huh? just to themselves. That explains why there were a giant horde of... But it doesn't explain how that? they even found their way out. Ernest There's walks no over old... and says, Look, since um, I know the vault is pretty dead right now, but I think I can um, uh, 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 revitalize the, the energy systems down in... Um, in the in the power room, um, they're using a different type of um, um, energy system. There's easier ways to do it. Oh, I don't I think, think the you two should of go us... down there. Why not? Isn't it horribly radiated down there? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have suits. Oh, where? Down in some of the rooms. She needs one of those. Can she take one? You want a, a suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, she not be... You have to take off all that armor. Uh, I mean, I can. if I need to, I will. All right, I'll go get one. This week's I think the two of us are going to stay here and try to radio out for any other survivors. If that's what you want. Where you come from, if you um, make it back, right. if you can tell people that we're here. Yeah, of course. It's not safe out there. At least not for us yet. I will say, uh, us telling you that, telling other people that you're here might not always be a good thing. There's a lot of bad people out there nowadays. Is there a safe way back to somewhere out there? Uh, There was a train. And we could follow the tracks back. Yeah, that's all we can do is just follow those tracks. I mean, you could come with us, but it's it's never safe. I think we may be best here. Yeah. There's water. Look. It's true. Keep that. You're going to need it. There's a map. I can show you where... um, nearby locations. I picked up a lot of different frequencies coming from different places. Um, I heard a lot about a place called The Hub. It's to the south. The Hub. It's about 120 miles away. It's about five days but for, for walking. It's towards um, the Mojave. Well, you can do 60 miles in a day? You need 20 miles Excuse in a day. Excuse me, 20 miles in a day. You need 24. The, uh, the NCR knows you here. I mean, we could tell them I'm sure they wouldn't mind helping a little bit. Honestly, they might like having Having. access to a vault. All right. Thank you for helping us. No problem. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there. Do you think maybe perhaps as a group we could kind of rest up here before we head out? Stay as long as you like. Uh, there's fresh water. We got a working kitchen. We could go oh, make some food. Give me food. a second. Ernest goes down, goes in the atrium, goes in one of the rooms, finds a hazmat suit. Um, it was like tucked under the floorboards, which is why he never found it. Um, he goes <laughs> over and gets back. He goes up to the stairs. He comes over and it's this giant yellow suit, and he hands it to you, and it has like a uh, like a glass helmet. He says, "Here you go." Mm-hmm. Put it in my. I've always found uh, that. That is going to be ten load. Or oh. hang on, it might be more than that. I'm, I was going to look it up just. To see. I'm going to. You know, I don't think I have it in there. Hazmat, and I don't. Oh uh, no, you do not. Um, it is going to be, uh, you cannot wear it over your armor, just letting you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you do wear it, it will give you a lot of radiation resistance. Mm -hmm. Just give me one second. 
<clears throat> and find the dang armor. Are you gonna have to get updated character art? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Permanently you, you're wear just this. in a full hazmat suit. I'm not gonna permanently wear this. This is only for. Look like you, but actually, it's only five. No, oh, it's only low to five. Wow, it's pretty light. Mm-hmm. Actually, with the with the glass helmet though, I'm gonna make it go up by two, so it's eight. Yeah, Bed rolls that's heavier different. than that. That's seven. No, actually, that's. I'm gonna make it go up by three. <laughs> make it an eight. <laughs> so low to eight. Uh, well, yeah, bed rolls real chunky. This is yeah. just like a thin layer of. Like rubber. Cloth and lead and rubber. Okay. Um, 55 loop. It is, uh, it, if you wear it, you will gain a uh, bonus to your rad resist of... I think it, I think it gives it, it to you. Oh. Found lying to Load you. Load of eight. Load of eight. <laughs> and it's a uh, 200 rad resist? Mm-hmm. Okay. And a, as it goes for armor, so it bad. has a zero DT and a zero bonus to AC. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sounds all right. Isn't that great? Honestly, I'll take one too. Oh, he gives you one. My yeah. current armor just gives me a damage threshold of one. My AC is also my AC is still just ten. So it's like, are you just gonna permanently wear a radiation suit? If, as the radiation starts getting bad, suit and oh, gas mask. Oh, here's the problem with a radiation suit: if it breaks. It will no longer grant you the radiation bonus. Yeah. yeah so Don't. it'll just be good to wear if we're in like a, mm-hmm. a storm. Don't get attacked while yeah. you're wearing a. Did Storms. anybody get crit? Did I ever crit anybody? No. All right. You well, crit failed lucky. a few times. You're I feel lucky. like you did crit like last game. We were rolling really low. I rolled a lot of ones. Yeah. You did. I, I feel like last game you might have crit uh, Sarah. Sarah Bella? Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter if it's Sarah Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is, that, is, that, is that how you? If you did get crit, your armor deteriorates. Oh, okay. For staying here, can I refill all my water canteens? Yes, you can. And can I try uh, another repair check as well? You guys gonna rest just for like eight, ten hours? Yeah, I'm doing a right, cool, rest. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, um, big rest. Right? Yeah. If everybody, yeah, if everybody, big yeah, rests, big rest. you can get back your healing rate every Which six hours of rest. Healing rates your level, and you can get back all your stamina it's points. It's endurance half. So level. go ahead and everybody put your endurance. stamina points back to full. This is what I have. Um, but but all true. of your hit points, um, if you're staying for just that six hours, that first six would give you. Um, you guys could stay for twelve. Is this place considered a sanctuary? I would say it is a sanctuary now. Yes. Doesn't that mean we can get all that stuff back without using our own equipment? Yeah, you can heal up to your healing rate here. Yeah, but like um, we don't. But like we we get all that, and we don't have to use up any of our own nope. food, any of our own oh. water. No, 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 no. They have food and water here, um, so yes. you guys can do that and um, get back. But you don't get back all your health. You only get uh-huh. back what your healing, healing rate. Yeah, is. and but but I could if I could succeed my repair job. Oh, you you can you're good. But I am uh-huh. good to go. Yep. Um, what is what? Can everybody just tell me their healing rate? I'm trying to calculate three, that right now. Did four, it go up four, with the level? It goes up as you level. It should. Okay. Yeah. It so should. what is healing? Oh wait. It is half, half endurance, endurance plus level. Yes. Half your endurance. So plus I think you should be mod. Oh, have your endurance mod or score. No. It just says half endurance. Half endurance or half the mod or the sco- score. It literally just says. I should have half endurance. It literally just says calculate a hearing which was half endurance plus level on the character creation. Then yeah, it's one to five. So it's half your score. Not your modifier. Oh so, my goodness. So your healing rate. What? Well, um, doing that wrong. So, so what is so yours? Mine's five. Grounded down. Yeah, it's rounded down. Five. Five? So it it scales up with you so that your healing rate just isn't shitty as you get more health. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm back to... And it's rounded four. down? Mm-hmm. What's yours? Mine's... My endurance is seven, so I guess my healing rate is six. Six? Same. So That's if you guys stay for 12 better. hours, you can way heal better. You can heal 12. What's yours? Uh, four. Four, yeah, well. What's yours? Uh, uh, five. One. Oh. It should be exact... Not exactly, but it should be around... 20 to 30 percent of your max health or S- about 10 to 20 percent. since i don't need to rest that amount of time mm-hmm. can i instead go outside and scout <laughs> yeah it's just, just just go look see if there's a still a storm so tell me when and how long you're going out well we're resting for six hours correct and- I'm gonna s- I'm gonna say you 12? guys are staying for twelve. Okay. You guys you guys like sleep and then yeah. like gather supplies well, we and the, stay for about yes. twelve. So you guys are just like ch- chilling out and resting. Did we do we get our stamina points back? All of them back. Yes. What time do we start that twelve then? Um, also, you your coffee would have wore off, but then you would have slept. Getting your res- your, so your yeah. exhaustion is also gone. Sorry. When do we start that twelve? Um, it would have been at <coughs> what time? <laughs> say it's about six p.m. Okay, then at high 2 a.m. 
So at 2 a.m. you'll go out. I'll go outside just to see if the storm has died down. Can you go out? Yeah. And when you go out, you look up, and the storm is gone. Hmm. And as you look up, you can just see tons of stars. And um, hmm. you see, um, like, very, very distant mountains. You can see um, a lot of flat land. Hmm. And in the, you can't really see anything out there. It doesn't really seem to be much. It's good, though. Um, you see the absolute wreckage of the train that is mm. still here, but it's no longer, like, on fire and destroyed. It's just kind of a wreckage. How far is that away from? The vault? The like, vault. Well, there's, like, the vault entrance, and then there's a cave, and then yeah. you go out, and then it's maybe, like, 50 feet, and then it's it's the train. Okay. Um, we we derailed right in front of the cave. I guess. Yeah. And that's something that's super loud, so you can kind of determine how much I get. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to scrap... Until until I can't. You just until it's too loud. Until you can't. If, if it's something that's too loud, I shan't mess with it. But if it's something I can easily get to, I'm gonna. No, 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 you can. Um, can you roll? I can. I have that ability with my wrist. We got rid of well rested, right? It did get. That rid was of well hard rested. to say. Well rested. Well rested, right? Oh, well rested. Well rested, well -rested. No. Well -rested is it. not a thing anymore. Well oh, shut the ten percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlike other condi- Oh, maybe it's still in there. Good day. It, it, it's, um, it's still under, um... It is still in the conditions. I meant to get rid of it. Yeah. Well. It's also, um... Where was that? I just read it. Um, yeah, well under rested sleep. isn't a thing. Yeah, it's okay. still under sleep, too. <laughs> it's still in there, but it shouldn't out. be yeah. in there. Um, Murder it. Can you roll a D20 modifier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Modified by your luck. <coughs> oh, yes, I can. Roll luck check. Modified. That'd be a six. Six. Think do you have negative hands. luck? I do. Oh. Yeah, it's a seven. So six. Okay. Um, so you're good. Uh, you, um, <laughs> you scrap and scrap and scrap and scrap and take a bunch of metal. I mean, you can get about... There's some tougher parts of steel you really can't get as just like scrap. No, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, it, I mean, they're, they're literally like <laughs> steel. It's not going to do much. <laughs> sure, sure, but there are like small bits of metal that I'll you could like scrap from. It. So, yeah, yeah, like yeah, sheet metal. Uh, I'll say you gather about eight. Oh, wow. They. Oh, and by the way, these each have a load of one. That's a, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I guess I'll just take all eight. Okay. Um, do I find any other tools or anything? Actually, I'm going to say it has a load of two. That's fine. Do you want to find any other tools or weapons or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you do find um, Private Jenkins. He had his weapons. Did anybody take his weapon? I feel like someone did. I took his stuff. I didn't take his... Wait. I think he took his weapons, too. I might have. He had the rifle. He had, like, yeah, a rifle I feel on? like we didn't loot him that. Mm -hmm. I thought we looted him. Good question for you. Chems? <laughs> load says I did. one, parentheses ten. Is it ten of these chems makes one load? Yes. Okay. You did. I did. Um, the, uh, the conductor of the train did have a, a gun on her. Um, oh. Who is very dead? Uh, she, she had um, you find a burned. broken, as in completely like y you could maybe fix it later. Sure. Um, ten millimeter pistol. Okay. And that's it. Uh, no, like like wrenches or anything like that. No, that's it. Okay. There was a wrench in that closet. Yeah, I, I did grab that. Oh, okay. I'm collecting oh. things now. <laughs> Hoarding things. Be a pack rat. You need the pack rat perk. What is that? Is that a thing? I think that is a thing. I should pick you that guys thing. have completed this dungeon, um, so you way. guys will get some more XP. I'll also later. return after by, that. By the way, okay. if you you were scrapping like it through the night, yeah, I imagine at one point, probably around like like four a.m. or so, Billy comes out and sees you doing that, and then looks up and sees the stars. He goes, "You know, they told us in the vault that all of those stars were." There were once golf balls hit into the sky. I'm gonna let him like tear a piece of sheet metal half and go. That's dumb. <laughs> 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 Who would say such a dumb thing? <laughs> They're giant balls of hydrogen gas, a burn for a million years. Half of them are probably already dead. <laughs> <laughs> they have to start from somewhere. Yeah, golf ball. What? What if the golf ball ignited it? Stop. Everybody gets 150 XP. Can you, you know what? For can, finishing the can, dungeon. Can, can, can I find a piece of coal? Um, from the yes. train? Yeah. I'm going to go hit this. 
Oh. I'm going to see how far you can hit it up. Oh. <laughs> can I... Roll tech. Can I roll or... luck instead? You can. <laughs> you can indeed roll luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, better. Uh, 16. Load less than 5 are all reduced to 1 for you. Whoa. Oh. That's super helpful. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that later. It's like you know how to Tetris your backpack. You, you said need. 150? That's pretty cool. Uh, XP? Yeah. 150 XP. Uh, okay. Okay, David. Um, so you guys also... Do you, you, I gave you guys XP for killing yes, the first yes. ghoul encounter, right? We did that. Uh, um, yeah, I cool, so. cool, cool. Yeah. At some right. point. You guys haven't finished uh, the quest yet, so you don't get quest XP. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Was that us in the background? The People are saying we're back, but I don't know what's go. What I'm just like, hello. They're saying never mind. They're saying it's fine. What the heck? What are they saying? 